Fuck well, you for well, that. Well. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you're, you're, you're tweeting at Medic, like, fuck Michael Alberto, he made me wake up early today. Dude, I'm turning them against you. Yeah, so you're Drama doing time. Drama time. So I want to wait till that. De oh, Destiny's here. What's up, Destiny? Matt, holy shit. Wait, are you like nine? What the fuck? What are you? you <laughs> you've seen what I've looked like before. Wait, how old are you? I'm 19. Okay, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> are you all right with your camera? Oh, there he is. What are you guys talking about? Are you Waking live on early? your end? Yeah, I am. Aren't you guys like Tradcon? Don't you guys wake up at like the crack of dawn to go farm the chickens? I am not shit? Tradcon, okay? Do not love you. <laughs> oh, okay. There he is, Big Steve. Hey, Big Steve. Man, are you gonna be live on your end too on YouTube? Me? Yeah. Yeah, always, of course. All right, cool, cool. So I already told you know since we have three guests that have been under FBI investigation at some point, you know, you guys gotta oh abide by YouTube TOS. You know, I know Tom's had a knock at the door before. Destiny, didn't you have a visit before? Because you were like threatening to kill some like kid or whatever who was like DDoS in your stream. Um, listen, I've had three <laughs> wonderful visits from our Men in Blue, and I have nothing but love and respect and appreciation for them. Okay. <laughs> we love What's our cops, our law enforcement, our military. They're so important. So I guess uh, I'll start with talking with Destiny. So I'd like to start by saying I saw Nick recently stood you up. And I would like to say, Destiny, I would never do that to you. I would never stand you up on a stream in front of like 20,000 people with Nick and Medicare. That would never happen. But I want to like, you know, actually apologize for that. Uh, I thought you wanted to debate, but then people told me afterwards what happened was you were going to like try to come in and you were going to try to like direct the conversation. Is that what you were going to do? Oh, I just wanted to ask some questions. I was just so curious about. Oh, the drama? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh I, oh, I remember what you were saying. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. You're good. Don't worry. <laughs> I always feel awkward, like, butting into shit anyway. I know people do that, but it's kind of weird, but yeah. That's all right. So what parking lot were you in? <laughs> uh, you know, I'm trying to remember, but I just, it escapes me that day, but some somewhere in the United States. Somewhere? Well, who do you think won? Nick or Medicare? Who do you think won that debate? <clears throat> um, you know... You know how, like, you can... You know how you can make a movie, and it can be, like, a mm -hmm. perfect movie... Um, say yeah. like The Matrix, but it's a relatively mm -hmm. simple movie. There's not a lot going on, you know? And then you can try to make another movie that is incredibly ambitious, but it might fail in some respects. I would say that Nick had an incredibly ambitious goal in defending Ethan Ralph. <laughs> I'll just, hey, I'll put uh, it that way, okay? I, I, wasn't, I wasn't defending Ralph. I was making a uh -huh. point. Uh-huh. There we go. Real, real. Making a point about uh, the point was the something FCA. along the lines of like, why would you ever tweet about some of the juiciest, funniest drama of all time? Isn't that inappropriate? It was a, it was an, it was an out there point. Nick, no, but... Not really. Not really. Okay. Really. But that's I old news. I like how I'm like, you know, we're gonna try to avoid the Ralph drama. I'm talking to Nick about this, and it's already started. Mm -hmm. So do you guys want to talk about Ralph since we're already on the topic and get it out of the way? Not really. Because I saw, because Augie was uh, talking about, I guess uh, Ralph is in some drama with Mudahar now. And uh, Augie had him on the stream last night. It was pretty interesting. I don't know if they're necessarily in drama. They're just talking shit to each other. Well, I mean, it's just interesting. I feel like Ralph has so much beef with people I would never expect. Like why I don't get like how I'm surprised Mudahar even knows like he exists. Like isn't like Mudahar like like a mainstream like YouTuber? He watches like, you know, Augie and stuff, so he has like some mm -hmm. like rough idea. It's kinda weird though seeing all these like like Sam Hyde's like an Isaleb now, like interacting mm -hmm. with YouTubers. That's fucking uh weird. Isn't he gonna be at like Keemstar's like boxing fight or whatever they're doing? Uh I have no idea about that, but I know he is signed to their uh their happy punch thing, so yeah, maybe. Well, I would like to see him, like to see him fight. I know uh, he got, wasn't he at like supposed to be at iDubbbz' event and then he got like, he got like banned or whatever. Is yeah. That something that happens? Uh, yeah, that did happen. Yeah. How long until Nick Fuentes is a YouTuber? How long until we see uh, some, some Fortnite streaming maybe? I was a YouTuber. <laughs> well, well, okay. You, maybe you can go back. I'm a banned uh, YouTuber. We need Elon Musk to buy Google and then I could come back. I see. I see. Do you think Elon Musk is going to unban you from Twitter? Uh, yeah. Yeah, if he gets his way. I hope what is, so. What is your thoughts on, like, that exactly? Do you think do you think the deal is going to actually go through, or what do you think is going to happen with that? Uh, I don't know. It's um, It seems like it's tenuous now because of this bot issue. 
I think he fa- I think he faked it the whole time. I don't think the deal's ever going through. The way that he was trying to test for bots afterwards, like, oh, I'm going to take 100 random replies from my tweet or whatever. Like, the methodology is so dumb. I can't imagine that. As, I guess, an engineer slash CEO, he's really that stupid. So it sounds like he's just trying to get out of it now. But, I don't know. So it's my take. Who knows? Because isn't he now, like, under, like... Like, then he get, like, accused of, like, a sexual harassment or whatever? Yeah, but that seemed kind of dumb. It was, like, trying to, like, was it saying a woman was hot or something on a plane, like, eight years ago or something? Yeah. She got a quarter was... mil. I, you know, I'd let Elon Musk, like, show me his dick for a quarter <laughs> mil. That's, that's, that, that's totally worth it in my eyes. Of course you would. So, Destiny. So, we're all cozy streamers here, except for Tom. Tom's, like, a freak among us. But I wanted to know... A destiny because me, me and nick were talking about this why don't you stream on cozy uh well the original plan was to just stream to, to like because i can get debates out of the chat like i'm sure there's a lot of people that disagree with me um and then it'd be mm-hmm. interesting just to have other platforms to stream on but then you guys are in fucking self-destruct mode so i'm just kind of <laughs> standing by and seeing what's going on <laughs> what do you mean we're in what do you mean what do i mean do you want me to elaborate further or are you playing yeah dumb? yeah yeah just I with mean, all the insane we're here, drama we're around talk. ralph and mr Medicur and fucking the cum investigations and nick's lieutenant's quitting and all this shit damn i don't know what the fuck is going on over there i don't know if i want to be lieutenant embroiled in all that okay <laughs> more like bag boy yeah. more like carrying my bags uh-huh but uh, uh you should do a stream on cozy i think that would be uh that, that would be some interesting content, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I would say I so. Be. It's better than Dungeons and Dragons, I'm not going to lie. You know, your DGGers, I was talking to them the other day in a group chat, uh-huh. and they said, Nick, please tell Destiny to stop doing the D&D streams. It was a little dry. I was watching it. It was a little dry. Not going to lie. Um, so I'm just uh, you know, it's relating. A, it's, a, it's a passion project, you know. Yeah. Are you a big D and D head? Big Dungeons and Dragons fan? Um, you know, I enjoy it with some friends. There's a DM I like, so yeah, I do, I'll do like one game. Um, yeah. I'll be running one game a month. But yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't even know how Dungeons and Dragons works. It's uh, it's a little slow. It's all this dice rolling and paper. It honestly just sounds like something like somebody made up in like a book to like make fun of like nerds. It's like, oh yeah, this is something they do, but it is something they do. It's Indeed, just, yeah, know, it's just absolutely. Weird. I played it once in middle school, and uh, I don't know. I didn't really enjoy it. I did as well. I went to one. I went to like one session, and I was like, I don't fuck with this anymore. So I bailed. Tedious. (laughs) Way too tedious for me. I never played D and D, but I used to play a ton of games that were basically like inspired off of it or something back when I was like twelve. But now I haven't played shit since. Oh, like um, I can't even think of it. Fuck. I know what you're talking about though. There, there there are like a lot of yeah. When you like like, draw the maps. um, and all these other games that are kind of like Pathfinder, I think, are like all inspired yeah. by like Indian. Yeah. Mm. yeah, stuff like that. I don't know. I mean, Nick's kind of like into that stuff. Was he was in like Model UN in high school? It's right? not the same thing. <laughs> it's not, it's I don't know. Same thing. I don't know. I never did Model UN. Isn't that like the same shit? There's Dungeons and Dragons. It's like like a it's like a like a game or whatever, right? You Model play United pretend. Nations like Dungeons and Dragons. Well, yeah, I, I guess know. it's role play. Yeah, in a way. It's make believe. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's how Nick got started in all this shit, right? True. That's true. That's my yeah. origin. Yeah. He oh, yeah. From, he went from uh, <laughs> Model UN in high school to AFPAC. The Charlottesville. <laughs> <laughs> all right, buddy. So, Destiny, speaking of AFPAC, do you regret the quip uh, praising Nick for AFPAC, too? Um, no, I'll always give people props for doing um, real-life work or whatever. I think it's I think it's always a good thing. Um, I noticed that a lot of people, I kind of talk about this a lot, I feel like mm-hmm. a lot of people have, um, people don't really have any, like, core political values, or not even political values, people don't really have any core, like, ethical values, it's more just kind of like, if my side does it, it's okay, if my side doesn't do it, or if the other side does it, it's bad, um, but, I, I, you know, like, if people are putting in effort into doing real political work, I'll always give people props for that, whether you're protesting outside an abortion clinic, or whether you're protesting, um, you know, outside a church, I guess, whatever, but, you know, whatever people want to do. Uh, so recently in the America First Fair, uh, we've been talking a lot about like Pepsi Nitro. Nick's been uh, okay. Can so, a lot. Fuck. Do I need to ask my chat what the dog whistle is? What the fuck is the Pepsi Nitro shit? <laughs> Not the dog whistle, dude. Some, is it like some turns drink. you trans shit, or is it a third world fucking what is it, or some deep state? Somebody fill me in on the fucking memes. We that's just enjoy it. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. A moment. Why is that, you know, that's the thing with these liberals. We, it's like Nick Fuentes drinks Pepsi and they're like, what, what does it mean? Is it political? What's the dog whistle? How is this about? Yeah, we just, uh, well, here, here's sort of the red pill is that mm-hmm. it's oh, uh, expensive. 
so the poor people can't afford it. And also you have to pour it a certain way so that stupid people can't drink it <laughs> and enjoy it. So, so I've been saying on my show it's sort of the perfect drink is too expensive for pores to afford and it's too complicated for dumb people to understand. Gotcha. Don't you think that's yeah, you... going to put you out of touch with your the the rural conservative movement you're trying to bring under your wing or no, I, I you, everyone, everyone, everyone knows thing? I hate the rural. Aren't everyone you trying knows to be, I, I we're having it. a big tent movement. Uh yeah, a big tent of urban dwelling. <laughs> I'm like you, Destiny. We want high IQ. It's a, it's like the DGGers. It's a high IQ movement, you gotcha. know. Gotcha. Okay. So you high only IQ want like the, the autistic conservatives to come in under your wing, the ones that are That's right. Super That's smart. Right. Only those with autism. Gotcha. Yes. Based. Yeah, Nick was oh, shitting yeah. on me because I drank it wrong the first time. I didn't uh I didn't pour it into the oh cup. I drank it out of the can. You let all the nitrogen out or whatever? Did you fuck it up? I, I guess. I don't know. It just tasted like Pepsi or whatever. I don't even like cola, but I was like, all right, it's whatever. Then Nick and all his groypers in my Twitter replies, no, you fucking idiot. You ruined it. So then I went and spent like another like $5 on it. And uh, it was good. Does it have like a special flavor? What is the deal with it? Why is it, why is it so good? Nitrogen to... infused. And uh, so it's smoother. It's smoother than a regular soft drink. The, the bubbles are smaller. Oh, I, I have see. a friend who introduced me to nitrogen infused coffee. Actually, a Jewish friend, uh, coincidentally. Uh oh. But, uh -oh. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, he's like, it's, it's nitrogen infused, so it's better than than not nitrogen infused drinks, I guess. So, yeah, I don't know. I couldn't taste the difference, but uh, maybe with Pepsi, maybe it's different. Yeah, do know? a taste test on stream. Uh, we would love that. Gotcha. Well, we I don't want to pour it. Right, I have to practice first. You know, I'm not going to look like a dumbass <laughs> on stream. I think you could get it. You're you're high IQ. Yeah. I uh, I've been ripping them all all week. A lot of sugar though. That's the only deal. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody in check. Kai, Kai said he's going to be a bit late. I don't know how late he's going to be, but he'll be showing up at some point. Uh, we do these streams like once a month. It's me, Augie, Tom, and Kai. And uh, we thought we tried to now get guests in. And the first month we had, what did we have? We had Salvo Pancakes. Do I need to explain who <laughs> Salvo Pancakes is in Nick and Destiny? Yeah, I don't know who that yeah. is. Or, I think Augie would do a better job. What? What, why are you fucking high? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like trying to get you involved in the why conversation. Are we talking I'm, trying about to get, I'm trying to get the ball rolling. I'm trying to get the you ball just... rolling with this conversation. And I'm like, You're hey, Augie, just... talk to me about this guy. And you're like, what? What? What's going on? <laughs> How many hours of sleep did you YouTube. get? How many hours of sleep did you get last night? I didn't night? sleep last night at all. Really? No. Is that why you were crying to Medicare about me on Twitter? Damn. Yeah. I'm called Hold the on. fuck out. Did Michael the little instigator over here. That's is exactly is Medicare like your guys' like number one enemy general? Is that guy like leading the charge against America first? Or who are the big? No, AF... he's really more preoccupied with like Ralph. Who seems. are the big AF enemies right now online? The big AF en Bronze Age pervert is the number one enemy right now. Who's that guy? You don't know Bronze Age pervert? I don't know anybody. I just play video <gasps> games. Uh, so he's this guy. You ever hear of his book Bronze Age Mindset? Probably not. Nope. But um. Sounds he's like been a, popular. Sounds like a D and D book, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it, it basically, yeah, it, he's been in the sphere for you know probably, I don't know, five or six years, and uh, so he's lately been attacking me, and and we've been uh, basically exposing some of the connections that he's got going on. He's kind of this suspicious character, so he's been public enemy number one on Twitter lately. I've been following. You've been have you been seeing me responding? I know you jumped in one of my Twitter spaces. Oh, yeah, somebody linked me. I, dude, every time I try to join my cell phone, I just get randomly kicked out after, like, a minute. It was fucking annoying. Or I didn't know if you were kicking me or somebody was kicking me or if it was just, like, Twitter, but, yeah. Yeah, your connection kept uh -huh. goofing off, but... Uh, what was that all about? Yeah, I was, was talking to your fans, actually. I was talking to your fans. Were, were they, or who... Are you just... <laughs> no, no, really. I was in the Destiny uh, Groiper Gang, or DGG. What does that stand for? Destiny.gg... Uh, it's not Destiny Griper Gang, but um, okay. <laughs> you know, it's a nice historical oh, I revision. It was. wouldn't be the first time by you guys, but uh, um, no, I, it's just uh, it's a domain like .gg. Like when you play video games, if you win, you'll type like GG in the chat. So it's, like, oh, okay. it's just like that, yeah. Destiny GG, got it. Yeah. Well, yeah. So I was in a group chat with some of them, and uh, and we were just talking about things. A lot of your fans are um, uh, transgender. I have quite a few of them. What can I yeah, say? I'm, I'm big... All the Destiny fans were jumping in. They're all trans. Well, I'm a pretty big, uh, pretty big pro-trans person online, despite getting uh, perma banned from Twitch for being anti-trans. I guess, but you know, 
Yeah, I, that's that. You know what? Cancel culture has gone too far. Oh yeah, uh, now it has. When, yeah. Yes, when when my best friend Stephen Bonnell gets banned <laughs> from Twitch, that's when I put my foot down. I say this has gone. Hey, you tried to get me banned from Twitch, if I recall, after our debate with Hassan, after you and I debated Hassan together. Um, I don't know if I did. Did I? Maybe. Yeah, you reported me. Did I really? Are you sure? Uh, I think so. Yeah, because you said something like. I, I don't remember the clip, but you did. But I go, okay. I went, I, I go back and forth. I went. There was a period. So historically, this is what happened. And actually, I think you did this too. So fuck you. You earned this, okay? Historically, I think I was always anti like spam report ban people. Um, mm -hmm. Like I remember, for instance, there was a time when Sargon got banned, and I think it was the only left leaning person tweeted like, "Hey, we shouldn't celebrate when people we disagree with get banned." Blah blah. blah it's not good. Um, and then something happened where I got banned. I think from Twitter or something else. And then. All of you fucking right wingers came out of the fucking shadows to celebrate my ban. I think you did. I, think I did, did, yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. I think after that happened, I think there was like a year long period where I was like, fuck these right wingers now. Fucking go spam report them too. Because that's how it always goes, right? It devolves into yeah, like, yeah, every, yeah. yeah. And then I think after that, yeah. But um, because I remember there was a point on Twitch, and I don't, I always try to be careful when I say this because I forget like the timeline. So it, I don't want to, I'm not like lying, but I know there was a time on Twitch where Twitch would start banning like every right winger that I debated. And I remember vocally complaining. I was like, this has to stop happening. I even messaged my partner manager. He was like, you're making me look bad when every mm. time I debate somebody, they get banned afterwards. It makes me look like a fucking tattletale or like I'm just like trying to bait people on to get their Twitch accounts banned. So I know that happened, but I don't know if that was during when we debated or not. Like someone in my chat said, I thought you were saying you were annoyed because people you debated were being banned right after you talked to them. I don't think you reported Nick and then somebody else said we reported Nick but you said it was a bad look if people reported people you debated so I don't know if my if these guys are right they might be misremembering but yeah but anything well, is it's, possible it's, it's, I go through it's Demarage, even so. Stevens <laughs> it's Maybe, even yeah. Stevens bottle because we celebrated your Twitter ban first yeah. well <laughs> so we could say it's even Steven but yeah I I protested your ban from Twitch this was uh this was not appropriate and uh Damn. Listen, not, I think that free even with Fuentes behind be me they didn't unban me that's just wild. <laughs> I know I know. Yeah, I tried to lobby for you, but they wouldn't listen. <laughs> Crazy. But now you're on Cozy. You don't even use the platform. Nick graces you with this. Yeah, we made platform. Destiny. We made fan art for you for your first stream. <laughs> and listen, I, we, the, and I got my streamed. account. I literally started traveling for like two weeks. I came back, and then there's a bunch of stuff with Ralph and everything going on. We're just kind of like, I'm just kind of chilling, just waiting to see what's going on, you know. We worked so hard. We made a cool fan. All of our artists each uh -huh. drew something on a big uh, <laughs> picture for your first stream, and then it's like you never came. You know, you never, you never did the stream. So, so How we're could still you just have some patience, yeah. right? Same we're with Augie. Augie's got a stream on here more too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, speaking yeah. of which, by the way, mm -hmm. I I wanted to ask like a question about something I saw on Twitter. Like, yeah. since you guys were bringing up like drama and stuff earlier. I saw this clip of like Medica where he tweeted out like a quote from Nick on Ralph's stream mm -hmm. where he was like talking about I think it was like Jaden or something being like a p like mm. what was that about like I'm curious well about that. well here's the thing you know um Jaden Kleinfelter who we diagnosed uh potentially with <laughs> Kleinfelter syndrome which is what it is I mean it is he's uh you know he's troubled um well, you know, Judas has been talking a lot of trash about me, so I said, you know, I think it's going to be my turn to drop some things on him. And uh, I said that there's maybe some tendencies. There's maybe some tendencies there which are, uh, you could say, uh, maybe a febophilic in nature. Perhaps not pedophilic, but a febophilic in nature. And I said, you know, I didn't want to go there. I don't want to go on the personal stuff because, uh, you know, I, I thought that was sort of wrong to do that, but... You know, the guy hasn't stopped talking about me for three weeks. I went on doing my show uh, and traveling and doing my thing, and the guy keeps talking about me for three weeks. So I'm like, you know what? Now it's uh, now it's time to... Is he like a lollicon or something? Is that what it is? Or um, Well, no, it's not anime, but there's... Uh, like, well, I, I don't want to get into it because we're going to do a big stream about this, I think, on the kill oh, stream sometime this month. So, so Wait, wait how old is this guy? Uh, he's he's my age. He's a year younger, I think. How old are you again? I'm 23. Okay. Uh, maybe I might be a pedophile or whatever, but I like super don't give a fuck when people are trying to out like 19 and 20 year olds for flirting with like 16 and 17 year olds. It just seems like the biggest reach in the world. 
I don't know if the world was a different place when I was a kid, but like you'd have like high school kids that are like seniors and sophomores and shit dating sometimes, and people like lose their fucking minds on Twitter today over it. It just seems like a huge fucking. I'm with you on that one. I agree. I'm with you on that one actually. <laughs> when you start getting like 23, 24 year olds like trying to pick up like high school kids, it gets a little bit weird for sure. But when you get like, dude, I there was some huge teenage drama that somehow I got drafted into where yeah. it was like a 19 year old was like sexing with like a 16 year old and like the 16 year old she didn't even think anything was wrong but her friends was like dude you're being abused and she was like oh, okay and then like three people wrote like a fucking google doc for her and it was just like this guy was flirting with me and it was really bad there weren't even like nudes or anything it was like okay this is like the dumbest shit in the world but that know. was uh that john was the swan. candy stuff right john swan oh yeah, yeah 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 that guy i guess yeah damn yeah I do that was uh, yeah, that was very based on your destiny yeah well you know i'm here to defend my fellow epibo fibo files or whatever the fuck they are so you know. <laughs> yeah I, I guess, like, to that, I'd just say, because, like, you know, I've seen, like, s like the drama and stuff, especially at the start, but, like, recently I haven't been following it. I know you've been doing a bunch of Twitter spaces on um, Jaden and stuff like that. I guess I'm not too shocked to see it go to, like, the pedophile uh, or the pedophile route because, I mean, it's the internet, and that's kind of how all drama goes nowadays. It's just flagging and pedophile allegations, but... Used to be everybody's guess, a like, Nazi, but now, yeah, now they're all pedophiles, I guess. <laughs> Like, why protect the guy or something? Like, why be friends with them if you saw these, like, horrible signs about him? Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's I wouldn't say it's necessarily horrible, but the guy's clearly um, fucked up. He's a sort of strange, mm -hmm. bizarre guy, and there's a lot of uh, stuff there. Um, but, you know, I am loyal to my friends. That's the thing. And um, Well, what does that mean? You know, Careful with that one. <laughs> Well, it's I'm loyal yeah. to a fault in the sense of if we're friends, we're friends, you know, and... Um, so to you walk in thing. on your friend fucking a twelve year old, and you're like, "Listen, wow, well, I'm not. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see anything." <laughs> well, you said oh, loyal yeah, to a I fault. Guess, like, I'm trying to help you here, okay? You're like, just be clear what you're saying, all right? Yeah. <laughs> well, like I said, like I said, we're not talking about anything. We're not talking about anything illegal. We're not talking about oh, anything okay, like, okay. Uh, you know. Oh, so if you see your friend, if you see your friend shoplifting, you see your friend shoplifting a candy bar, you're turning them in then at the cash register. Well, that's different. <laughs> well, you, what are, you know, you're trying to paint it in a certain way, and I know people are trying to paint it a certain way, but. Um, you know, this is just about uh, drama. There was a lot of drama about me. The guy's going to go and, and talk about every little thing I've ever said or done and making up wild allegations. And, um, you know, here's the thing. I don't make things up. That's the difference. I don't make things up. I usually go for things that are true. And so, uh, you know, if he's not going to stop talking about me after three weeks, well, then now it's my turn. Uh, now, it's, now it's time for me to take my turn in the drama circus. So... That's all I'm gonna do, but um, but protect is the wrong word. It's really more like you know he made professional allegations as well as a lot of ridiculous personal stuff. I answered the professional stuff. Uh, I addressed that on my show, the serious stuff that people care about, and then I moved on. You know, he did this big stream with uh, Medicare and Worski and them, and him and uh, former employee, disgruntled employee, made all these professional claims. And I came back on my show the following week and I said, well, you know, they claimed these are the serious allegations and here's an explanation for those things. I said, and that's it. I'm done with the drama. And I moved on. Then I went back into doing my show the next night. I went back covering the news and I've been just working ever since. I've been doing a lot of travel. I've been, you know, I went to D.C. I went to Nashville. I went to Florida doing a lot of big collaborations. I'm headed out uh, later tonight, actually, to do more of that. Um, and every day I get a text from people saying, oh, he's talking about you again. Oh, he's saying more stuff. Oh, he's doing this. He's doing that. And so it's like at first I didn't really want to lower myself to the level of personal bullshit. That's the point I'm trying to make because I don't want to get into personal stuff. Um, but, you know, he wants to keep getting personal. So, you know, why should I be the only one then? It, you know, if, if I'm going to get backstabbed by my friend and all his personal stuff gets drudged up, why should I be the only one, uh, you know, who, who gets uh, shit on. So that's, so I, I think it's being misconstrued deliberately. Um, but that's, that's, uh, if you watch the whole stream, the context is there. Gotcha. Was it anything in particular that set you over the edge? Was it, uh, I know Jaden claimed that you, he was like, he masturbates like 18 times a day or something. Was that it? Or, or what, what in particular made well, you? Well, that know? was part of the whole, uh, Porn, fake thing on Twitter. It, it was when I he see. said he was going to start attacking my sister. He said he was going to go oh. after my family. And he said that uh, he floated the idea of going to the ADL. And so at that point, I said, well, he, he made a lot of these threats, you know, because first it was, you know, first he goes on the stream and says, well, you know, I split because I had all these professional concerns. 
And then by week three, it was like, Nick listens to Miley Cyrus. That's cringe. Really? Um, but And then all throughout, he's saying, oh, I'm going to dox the America First students. I'm going to, maybe I'll work for the ADL. I've got some things to say about Nick's family. I've got some things to say about. And so that, in my opinion, crosses a line uh, when you start going yeah, sure. that kind of thing. Sure. So, you know, now I feel obligated to respond. I see. Because you called into my stream a few days ago to tease the big, uh, the big expose stream, mm. which is it, you're gonna host it on the kill stream now. Uh yeah, I think so. When do you think it'll be? Later this month? I don't know. We haven't scheduled it. Uh, but yeah, probably later this month. Are you gonna be like showing receipts and stuff like that, or is it just oh, yeah. gonna be? All right. Yeah. So there, there you guys go. I guess we'll have to see. Is there anything else on this particular topic regarding? Oh really? Uh, it's. Aiden? It's just, it's really unfortunate because, mm -hmm. you know, this is a guy who I did so much for. He was my best friend. And, um, but this is what happens in politics and, and online drama. You know, the level of treachery is just, it's, it's honestly, it's evil and it's unconscionable. And, um, you know, so it's just the whole thing has been, I think, very jarring for people. But, yeah, it seems to be winding down. All right. Wow. Uh, so I do have this one all-around question. We were kind of, I think, talking about this a bit earlier. But Fuentes uh, mentioned on a stream that him and Destiny and their community share a weird bond. And I think everybody here, like, uh, you know, the commentary community too, also shares like a weird similar bond despite, you know, being different and having like different ideas. So what do you guys think brings us all together to have a nice friendly chat despite Gaming. being very different? Gaming? Probably actually, yeah. Racism. Yeah, true, true. We are all racist here. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Yep. Yeah, uh, I was talking to Nick about this. I was saying, like, Destiny's community is where, like, all the racist gay people go. Yeah, is that how that works? <laughs> and the trans people, too. Don't forget the them. Trans, they, trans people, people can be racist, just as racist as you Wait, guys That sounds are. like my audience. Yeah. I think everyone yeah, in this call has been uh, caught saying the N-word at one point. Or another, so. <laughs> what do you mean by caught? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that implies some level of shame. <laughs> okay, calm right? down. Well, I mean, yeah, Tom got saying. caught. I mean, I mean, certainly online these days, you know, people are not uh, happy with it. So I would, I would describe that as maybe being caught, you know, people not too happy. D'Angelo Wall was caught your ass. He did catch me. That's true. Two million views just stunking on two, you. Two million views about me saying the N-word. Wait, bro. you said the N-word too, Turkey Tom? <laughs> yeah, there's these screenshots of me. There's one about oh, a yeah. Jewish comment. Yeah, there's a... Look, obviously, I would never ever say that word. Now I'm reformed and changed and stuff, and you know, uh, it's true. You know, Same I took, with me. The, I took the the blue pill. Yeah, I, I, um, you know, I'd never say that now, obviously, but um, yeah, certainly there are there are a few screenshots. I think there's a few audio recordings <laughs> as well out there, maybe. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. Just how what about it goes. one of VidCon, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What is what you guys, you guys, you guys randomly mentioned like VidCon stories, like nobody knows what you're referring to. That's the funniest part when you get to like talk about inside <laughs> jokes that the chat has no idea about. You remember at VidCon? Best to let them speculate. Does VidCon still happen or do they ask that? No, it happens, yeah. Okay. Although, um, as far as Isn't I know. Isn't it like with TikTokers this year or something? It's it's YouTube and TikTok, yeah. yeah. So if you look yeah. at Billy, like the number two, the number one and two people listed are like Mr. Beast and Charlie D'Amelio. Well, I know Nick, I believe, is a fan of actually, um, on that topic. Real. Um, yeah, real. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't actually know. I don't plan to go to the convention, as far as I know. It's just a bunch of friends flying. Oh out, fuck that! Uh, around that time, dude. Apparently, to... people go there and hand out like business cards with their like <laughs> channels on them and stuff. Bruh. It's just, like. Like your URL, <laughs> yeah. yeah people literally. hardcore. So you go there for like, um, like ne quote unquote networking, right? So you try to talk at least two sentences with every important person, hand them a fucking card. Dude, apparently they have like cards they already have. YouTube, and... They've got they've got like YouTube classes that like Monday and Matt would like go to or something like. Oh my god, dude! Yeah, what was that thing that happened? There's this video of Bunty King filming no bullshit. He like fell asleep at one of those things, or, like a panel. <laughs> one of the speeches. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Oh, wait, what? whatever? Oh, my God, I'm so curious. What happened to that guy? Which he one? Quit. The no bullshit. No bu I checked out his channel. It's like um, dead as fuck. Did he just get bored? Or I could never tell if his channel actually had that much engagement or if it was all bots. Because he had a channel that was pulling, like, pretty good views. He had, like, over two or three or 400,000 subs, and he had, like, 3,000 followers on Twitter max. He got no engagement anywhere else besides YouTube. I thought it was 
weird. Well, back back when the anti SJW shit was going on, I think his channel. I don't think it was bots. His channel got pretty big because people were just looking for anyone to shit on, content. like you know, SJWs, feminists. Yeah, he was he was a, he was a part of that big wave, but he never really transitioned out of that. Um, so I guess I guess his channel just kind of fell off a little bit. But I think he had to change his channel name because he thought it was being deranked in search mm -hmm. for uh, having shit in the name. Um, so it's just no BS now, but. Um, yeah, as far as I know, uh, he, he kept uploading for quite a while, uh, but his channel just wasn't pulling the views it used to. So, yeah. Damn. What happened to Bunty? God, uh, <laughs> I mean, he's, he's, he's kind of around a little bit. <clears throat> Is he? I think he tweets and he gets like two likes a tweet or something. All those like skepti dudes fell off so hard. Yeah. You remember when he used to, what was that clip where he was pretending to like cry about the skeptics? That's the only thing I remember of him. You know what I'm talking oh, about? He, he did that cringe clip where he was like, the skeptics, the skeptics. Everything that guy tweeted was fucking cringe. I, yeah, I remember we had, this. We had a rivalry back in the day. We had a feud. Did you? Oh, you and Bunty King? Yeah, yeah. Ancient lore. What uh, What happened there? What was the story? I don't remember exactly, but he was, uh, I think it was on, it was either on YouTube or Twitter, but... He had some big problem with me back in it must have been like 2017 or 2018 i don't even really remember the details but uh he he was uh he was one of the adversaries of america first at one point i see because i remember back in the day he um he made this uh he was one of the guys defending mouthy buddha when he started putting out these videos these like conspiracy videos and i believe destiny you you talked to him about that I th there's this one clip of you saying I think you tell you say like off yourself you fucking inbred and I think you were talking about Bunty <laughs> King in it's that possible. moment I believe but you I can't know, remember. Me and Bunty fought a lot back then, but you know what are you gonna do? Dude, when everybody stopped liking Bunty, like so many people just came off, came out like mask off. They were just like, I always hated that guy. He was fucking annoying. Now, now that it's cool to hate him, like fuck this guy. It was yeah. so funny. I was never too familiar with him. Wasn't he like a Jewish question guy or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> not, no, way. not really. He no. was like I a thought, stock I thought he called standard. into somebody's stream to like defend the Jewish question or whatever. No, I think Let's he was just go. like a super standard like skepto dude, and that was it. That was it. So who am he I? Blew, he blew up because um, fuck, uh, like Tariq Nasheed has like gotten oh. banned or something, and then there was like a free Bunty King Nasheed? thing. Uh, I like that Twitter space he did with that like European guy, where they were just being casually racist towards each other. I thought that was pretty funny. He was like, you, sir, you can't say the N-word. And then the guy's like, well, excuse me, but he stole my bike. And that was like the whole Twitter space. I think Augie showed it He's, on his stream. Oh, yeah, I remember that. That was a good one. So I do have a question for Destiny and Nick. Uh, recently on a stream, me and Nick were talking about how you supposedly have called America First your next pet project. You know, what do you mean by that? Um, I don't think I've I probably jokingly refer to it, but it's just um, I would have to hear the context of the quote. A lot of people I, in my community want me to like always be converting people to my side. So, you know, I'm slowly working, yeah, I'm slowly peeling America, members off the AF to the omni-liberal movement, you know, as you guys America, try to slowly peel people from my movement to yours. So <laughs> That's right. It's a culture war. Yeah, culture an actual wars. culture war. Yeah. It's like civilization revolutions. Yeah. Your borders are shrinking because of the high <laughs> culture output of America first. Yeah, Who do you think is going to win this war? Um, it depends on who gets canceled harder, I guess. We'll see. We will convert Destiny. We will convert him to being a griper. It's gonna be a cozy streamer soon. He's gonna get up. He's gonna get kicked off YouTube. He's gonna be forced to be with us. Yeah, you think that's what's gonna happen? Yeah, yeah. maybe. We took Destiny. Would you ever just night? Yeah, go ahead. Would you ever just go like full griper just for the fuck of it, just to like see what happened for content? No, I'm I'm pretty serious about the things I believe in. I don't usually fake believes for like one conversation i might to meme on somebody but i'm generally pretty sincere about what i believe in yeah that's true you uh you were talking on on stream um you were like addressing Bosch recently you were talking about how everyone on every side should be able to like accurately argue the opposition so maybe you should do a stream where you uh just try to red pill your audience and then maybe Vosh can respond to it. I think that would be an interesting arc, but, um, you know. Well, but they <laughs> never have any response to anything. He'll just say, like, oh, look, Destiny's a Nazi, and then just, like, turn it off. That's all they do. Yeah. They don't actually critically yeah. engage with any different, like, thought ever. Bro. Did Vosh actually think there's going to be, like, a trans genocide in the next five years? Like, what was that about? No, I think he just says the, um, he just says what he can to, like, get views, and that's, like, a, that's, like, the, people want that narrative right now, that there's going to be, like, a trans genocide. It's, like, super appealing, so.
Oh, it's like the Civil War one, I guess. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, people are refreshing, like looking for any type of like law or statement from like people on Vosh are saying like a uh, candidate for governor. Some guy polling at like two percent said this thing about trans. It's like okay, yeah, we get it. <clears throat> Who do you think Vosh hates more, Destiny or Nick? Mm. No question. Um, uh, definitely me. I mean, in terms of political alignment, he would probably. Uh, hate Nick more, I would imagine, because me and Vosh are probably pretty close to political, maybe for whatever that guy's political views are, but um, we occupy similar space. What's I just read a big article yesterday. What What's the name of the like something of small differences or something like people that are more closely aligned Narcissism to you? Narcissism of small. Yeah, yeah, that like people that are more closely aligned to you are going to be more likely people that you're going to fucking hate because it's easier to just look at another group and kind of like hand wave them and not even think about them much. Bro. When this uh, impending LGBT genocide inevitably does not happen, though, how, how is his audience going to be able to, like, reconcile that? Like, how are they going to cope with his terrible predictions? I mean, the same way you guys do, right? There's always, like, everybody always has a crisis or a conflict, or there's going to be, like, a mass persecution of Christians or white people or black people or trans people, and there's always, like, the next thing to move on to, right? That's how people power Get excited them. for next genocide. Yeah, exactly. Whatever the next <laughs> thing is, right? Consume genocide. Get excited for next. Okay. Time. To make to make it clear, I'm not a groiper. Okay. I'm not groiped yeah. up. I'm not groiping. I've taken the blue pill. I'm a nice guy, but True. Uh, I understand. Taking I understand the omni liberal pill. Yes. <laughs> I'm a big Destiny fan. I'm watching Destiny, and I actually was a Vosh fan back in the day as well before Yikes. he hit like 100k on YouTube. So uh, he uh, he was putting out some interesting content back then. Actually, it's uh, it's unfortunate that he's decided to. I don't know. Everything he says is just like so fake now. He doesn't come across as real in any in it in any respect and it's really disappointing yeah i mean i would obviously agree with that but yeah, the, he's, he's your watch. creation though destiny he's your creation it's sort of sort of like this nightmare scenario where you've created something in a laboratory and it's sort of escaped and now terrorizing the city gone out yakubian of energy yeah that's right that's right yeah i mean well, what are you gonna do the ancient <laughs> scientist I like how Destiny titled it Fulmanko Fuentes Piano and Fulmanko was never going to be on here in the first place. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, I just had him reach out to you because Brittany from Photo Creeper Both was going to do it. And then she put it off by, for like a week. So then I, you know, I'm like, Fulmanko, can you do this for me? Can you get me in contact with Destiny? Damn, Fulmanko like, got fucking owned. Holy yeah, I'm going to be totally honest with you guys, okay? There's like three of you that occupy the exact same space in my brain, and I wouldn't be able to pick out. So Flamenco, Michael Alberto... And yeah. then um, some, there's one other guy. All of you are like in the oh, and the Kai guy. <laughs> okay. I kind of yeah. You like are all kind of like the same person in my brain, so you can all like swap out at any point in time. <laughs> Although I'm starting to recognize the differences. So the Michael Alberto guy, you were the guy that interviewed me for a while, right, on my channel. Yeah, for I something. did. I did one with for uh, John Tron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, Kai. Kai seems like a decent guy. However decent a griper can be, although I don't know if I know his true views on anything yet. Um, and then. Um, Michael, Kai, and uh, Flamenco. I think I saw Flamenco in real life, right? Yeah, at the yeah. Texas. Was yeah. he at the Texas thing? Yeah, he was, yeah. Uh, I don't know what his beef is with me. Apparently, he's, like, shit-talking me now, but I always told him, like, you know, I in terms of him versus Ralph, like, I think Ralph is right. I don't have a problem with him, but now he's, like, seething about me online. The Ralph is or Flamenco is? Flamenco. Oh, gotcha. Oh, no, I want to let people know. So I thought I fixed the TTS issue, but people are saying it's still too loud. So I've turned it off. I will uh, read through some of them in a little bit. We'll put a, put some time aside after I get through all the prepared questions I got going on. Hmm. So Destiny, what is your beef with VTubers since we're on, you know, Flamenco and me and Kai? What is your beef with VTubers? I remember um, you were arguing about them. I There's like an overall trend of people not knowing what real humans look like or act like. <laughs> and I feel like the VTubing shit is like the ultimate extension. Of that. There's, it's actually really funny. I think I think I actually, not, it's, I'm not going to say like I predicted it, but like seven years ago, um, I'm on stream ranting about how like one day people aren't even going to be on stream anymore. They're just going to have like fucking anime avatars that are wired up to their face to move and talk and blah, 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 blah. Um, and yeah, I guess I guess it's like that trend towards this like digitization of every part of human life and how weird and yeah, I don't know, I don't like it. You don't like it at don't all? Don't like I think it. it's cool. I think it's good for like anonymous creators who want to have like a little avatar. Nah, fuck that. That's not how people use it. They use it because people want to fetishize the idea of like anime girls being real. Okay, that's why that shit exists. Well, I mean, right? that's partly true. But that's, I think no, that's like the main reason. Okay, that's absolutely the main reason. Is oh my god, there's an actual anime waifu girl that like I can fucking have and blah blah blah. Like Blade Runner 2049. 
True. I haven't seen that movie yet, but Kai, what's up? What's going on? Hey! Blade Runner? There it is. He finally yeah. showed up. Yeah, I had a work meeting that I forgot about, so I had to go to the work meeting, and then I got here. Well, we finally made it, so since you're here, tell us about, tell Destiny about Suckle Gang. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> Suckle Gang, we are a group of social advocates that seek to normalize the consumption of uh, breast milk, uh, also breastfeeding. We talk about the benefits of breast milk. Okay, wait, hold on. A, Is this for children uh, or for adults? So, so <laughs> okay, while, so for adults. While, okay. <laughs> while the advantages of breast milk have prior been explored primarily in children, we find that prolonged consumption of breast milk uh actually has some of the same effects and it would stand to reason that adults would benefit from the consumption of breast milk as well so we see it as a natural reward mechanism when a uh, man marries a woman and they have children the the woman of course produces breast milk and uh the man then has the benefit and will likely increase in muscle and bone density and, and height as well uh now some people make this out to be a sexual perversion it is not it is not uh, it's simply about the consumption of breast milk from a glass or from a cup. You know, women freeze it, of course. Uh, and Gavin McInnes yeah. is the most recent supporter of hashtag Suckle Gang. So yeah, we are wow. rising. Jesus, have you guys have you guys tried breast milk before? I'm actually uh, I can't say who yet, but we're in the, we're in the books in the to okay. <laughs> we're in the books to be on on a a large show, and we'll be trying it on air very soon. Gotcha. That's all we'll say. I have to keep the, it under the way the you wore it. That at first kind of implied you were gonna. Be, you had like a girlfriend or somebody. No. That you were gonna be getting breast milk from. You can't no. just get breast milk from from. She has to get like pregnant though. So yeah. True. It's true. It's a reward mechanism. That's gross. Breast milk. <laughs> <laughs> were you breastfed, Nick? Uh no, I actually wasn't. Uh oh. It that explains no, a lot. It's that over. crucial because, because 15 over. IQ point difference might make all the difference <laughs> no, in your life, Nick. Holy I could have been like an omni liberal. liberal. <laughs> it could have been, but now you're a groiper. Well, because so. I was a C-section. I was a C-section, so my mom I was, was on all these drugs, right. and she didn't want to breastfeed because she was on all these, you know, C-section birth drugs. See, I was bottle gang. I was formula. I I'm sort of a genetic mutant i was ivf and no no breastfeeding so I was IVF, wow, wait you're literally like a fed. fucking genetically engineered fucking groper what the fuck? i'm a gmo you're the next <laughs> generation what I'm the a genetically fuck? modified groper <laughs> yeah crispr gene editing technology i was uh created that's created why you can't entity. get on board with the anti-tech stuff that's that's why. right yeah because it would be it would my my whole existence so big pharma put all their resources into creating the most red pilled agent of keck <laughs> they could possibly manufacture yeah keck influenced the midichlorians in my mom's blood and mm. uh, that's all <laughs> damn what a fucking world so is that the only reason why you don't like suckle game i just don't like milk and the idea of drinking milk from uh, another human uh Seems you drink milk like... from animals, like I mean, you. Drink I don't. Milk. I don't drink milk. I hate milk. Oh, okay. I Have guess. you ever tried you like um like almond milk or like vegan milk or whatever? I've tried almond milk. Yeah. That's, that's I believe there are uh, soy based alternatives as well. Nice. Oh yeah. yeah. Explore. <laughs> if you um bre breast milk is like it's not as thick as normal milk and no. it's just kind of oh, sweet. Oh yeah, it's thinner. Yeah. So yeah, if you if you enjoy like almond milk, you probably you might you might be a breast milk gang. You should try it, Nick. No, Destiny, how could you? you should we're, try it. We're I'm nitro. saying you might. We're nitro gang. Destiny suckle gang? I'm thinking uh, we're back. So you sounds I'm like you've had it, Destiny. You've tried breast milk? I have a kid. Of course. Why would I not try the fucking sucking on the you mom's tail? So of course. Bad. What the wow. fuck? How could, you not, how could you not try it at least sure. once? You're not, you're not so curious over. at all? Of course. Mm. Suckle gang victory. Hey, suckle gang good. victory. I had a funny comment. Somebody it's left over. a comment on a video and said, uh, I'm not suckle gang. My wife's breast milk is too sweet for me to drink frequently. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so, so over, dude. Another Kai Clips W. It's it's over for what can we say? <laughs> the the and on the suckle gang. Breast milk. Ugh. I am Nitro Pepsi gang though. That was delicious. Right. I love Nitro Pepsi. Maybe you could combine them. That's what we were talking about with Lean, but then uh, then everybody made it this mutually exclusive thing, and I had to mm. pick a side. They always yeah. make me pick sides. I'm trying to be friendly. It's true. 
Yeah, chuckle gang, huh? I will never try. I don't like cow's milk, let alone women's milk. So you don't. So you don't drink like you don't have cereal or anything. Well, yeah, but I don't. I eat the cereal. I don't drink the milk. <laughs> he just leaves a bowl full of sure? milk when he's done. Bro, yeah, Jesus I just pour the milk Christ. down the drain. What's wrong this with is you? actually That's degenerate the best as fuck. Part. That's you drink the, the milk part. when you're done. You yeah. Go, 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 go yeah, out of the bowl. Yeah, yeah. No yeah, they have like honey it's nut like Cheerios. What, it's, it's all like, sweet. What you work up for? It's like a victory chalice. You're like, <laughs> you like <laughs> up in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> or no you can way, be, dude. Or you can be based like me, and you get like the the cereal with the the balls with the straw. You do that. Oh too. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I remember oh, those. Yeah. <laughs> you remember the cereal straw? Thing. What a gimmicky thing, dude. <laughs> you remember it's the good. cereal straw made out of like Fruit Loops? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh shit, yeah. I remember that the the thing where it was like he, you put the milk on the side, so every bite is like the first bite. It's like really crispy. Do you remember that? They no, like vaguely, had a milk yeah. thing on the side. Yeah, there's some weird like Kickstarter. Uh, what what's that show? Shark Tank. Yeah, I yeah. always thought that show was kind of weird. It's like a bunch of millionaires trying to get like the best deal out of somebody's new company. It's not like philanthropy. They're just like, how much money can I milk out of your company? <laughs> <laughs> I always thought that was weird. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we're we're milk. We're milk. Uh, it's a milk debate. Now it's just the milk debate, huh? Do you want to switch it over to lean? Destiny, have you ever tried lean? I, you know, I have not. Not yet. He's really? Dude, we should try lean together. Wouldn't that be awesome? Not, nah, but just with yeah. like Nyquil, you know. Let's do like soft lean. Yeah. Yeah, we should. Go full lean first time. I'm right? not a drug head, you know. And you guys are gonna have the styrofoam cups, and the arms are gonna cross, and you'll. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. How does? Wait, um... Nick, are you actually are you actually pro lean? Uh, I'm not pro lean, but I am lean gang. Oh, okay. I love lean. <laughs> How does AF feel about drugs? You, are you guys okay with weed smokers? Lean? And... No, no, we're, we're anti-drug. Anti-drug. What about like, what about classic drugs? Classic is there like uh, tobacco and alcohol uh, and cocaine. Caffeine. I don't drink. I've never drank before, but I don't really care if other people drink. Are you like caffeine? Are you like straight edge drug. or? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I've never had a sip of alcohol. Never smoked. Never had drugs. Damn. Yeah. But I've had some sips of alcohol, but I've never like, uh, you know, did some weed sips? or whatever. Yeah, some sips. I never got like like drunk or a buzz or anything. Mm. Why is Kai making that face at me? You're underage. So? He meant in Europe when he traveled to Europe, he had some. Uh, true. Yeah, yeah. True. <laughs> true, true. So people in the chat keep breaking my balls. First, the TTS is too loud. First, then the video isn't coming in clear. Now I'm not answering the chats. If you want me to answer it and ask a question, you can send in a super chat. And somebody wants to know if three dollars anonymous would destiny go to AFPAC to pose in an oppositional influencer and maybe have a debate panel with Dalton or Wurzelru. Hmm. Hmm, maybe. I have to think about it. If I want to be controlled in opposition or not, I'm not sure. Destiny at AFPAC four? Yeah. We'll I see. think isn't it gonna be like a three day event? Uh maybe like two days, yeah. You guys can have like one day, it's all just We're gonna be doing another event though, which I think would probably be more suited for everybody here, but I'm not it's not announced yet. Oh, jeez. We're, We're not going to get an AFPAC year. first exclusive sneak peek on the podcast? No, not yet. Not yet. Not a... Uh, no some kind of, uh, some kind of e-celeb bouncy castle action, maybe? Mm -hmm. Something like that, yeah. Something similar. Okay. I can't believe Tom and I are the only white people on this panel. <laughs> that is fucked up. <laughs> what? Tom's like Balkan. He's like Eastern European. That's Tom, white. Is that, is that true, Tom? <laughs> nah. That's white. No, 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 no. I'm taking your white card. I, yeah. I'm I'm half Bulgarian, yeah. My mom yeah, is. Yeah, there you Bulgarian. go. I can't believe I'm the only white person on this channel. <laughs> well, Stephen <laughs> Bottle's guys... white. He's got blue eyes. Well, no, he, Jesus, wait. Have you guys already gotten to the point where you've weeded out so many brown and black people that now you're fighting among the whites? Is that already happening? My prediction probably oh, yeah. was supposed to be hey, the, 10 or 20 years from now. They are a swarthy race. Bulgarians are a swarthy race. <laughs> oh, okay, man. listen. That's actually what Benjamin Franklin said about my people. People, he so. did indeed. I quoted that it's in the so Nick over. debate. I remember. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh yeah. I uh, yeah. I think our yeah. Wait, which that's debate? Back when we were that? enemies. We were rivals. Oh, we're still rivals. Okay, calm down, Gary. No, no, calm no. Calm down, no, Gary no, Oker. Right? We're best friends. Uh huh. <laughs> Nick is like Nick is the younger sibling who like needs to hang out with the older one now. It's like I'm the little brother. Yeah. He's my Cuban older brother. Yeah. <laughs> it's his Cuban stepbrother. That's right. Because he's Mexican. Which, which one's adopted? 
Mm. Well, they're probably the IVF kid who got his fucking sperm from <laughs> yeah. God knows what fucking, you know, I'm the orphan. <laughs> left this laboratory to create whatever the fuck Nick is. A genetic lineage <laughs> racist. Vouch's lab. Jesus Christ. Vashachinsky's <laughs> lab. He's creating his arch nemesis. Vash is insane. <laughs> Just so he dodge a debate for three years. I got to talk about him on the Slightly Offensive podcast. I got to name drop Vash. I was like, yeah, and he's talking about killing people. You had Ethan Klein and Vosh in like the same week talking about murder. <laughs> it's a lot of. <laughs> well, it's Ethan, very Klein, wild, Ethan Klein only said to bomb the NRA. He didn't say to kill anybody, okay? Maybe he wanted the oh, building yeah, cleared out. For, maybe he would have pulled the fire that. alarm, you know? Anything's possible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there's that one clip of Ethan. Uh, he's like he's like describing um, sitting in his room alone at night. He's like, I'm waiting for someone to approach my house. And he's yeah. like describing like like he's like, I can get in the gun cabin in like 12 seconds. I can take out my my Mose in the gun. All right. I'm ready. I can't Ethan? shame him for that, though. Any any dude has done that before. Like you fantasized about like if somebody tried to break into my house. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, I mean, I don't him. really. I don't, I'm, I'm not like mad at him for it, but he used to shit on people for saying that. He used to he used to shit on Leafy for for doing like the same shit. Yeah, yeah but now that like, people like, have moved left from like liberal to like leftist, now guns are cool again for a lot of these people, so they can hop right. in on all the fantasizing shit like conservatives do, like they used to make fun of them for. So, see, that's the horseshoe theory is just realizing that the right has more fun. It's just a horseshoe theory to fun. <laughs> like, uh, you, of all the people I listen to with political commentary. Uh, you talk the most, Destiny, about how uh, little fun you're having and about how much you hate it. And I'm just cheery. It's a lot of fun. Um, yeah. I mean, I have fun, but I can't hang out with those people and have fun. So, yeah, it is what it is. Do you have any lefty friends or your only friends, Lauren Southern and Nick? Yeah, his only friends um, are neo Nazis. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> well, hopefully ex neo Nazis, but I guess that's to be determined, huh? Um, yeah, what's the whole Lauren arc? How did that start? Um, I think we've debated a few times in the past, and we just debated a few times recently. And it seems like, it seems like with conservatives, maybe it's like um, there's a lot of different things going on. There's two things going on. I, I'm gonna say one thing, but I don't think it's true because you guys hate each other. Um, like conservatives hate each other. I was gonna say maybe conservatives are able to handle political disagreements without personally hating somebody more, but I don't actually think that's true. I think you guys do hate it. I think the second thing is that it's easier to be friends with somebody that is really politically different than you because like the insults that they have and the insults that their f fan bases have don't really bother you as much. Like if I'm arguing with Nick and his chat is calling me like, everybody's like a soy boy, cuck, uh, you know, F word, whatever, all these things. Like, yeah, I guess I kind of am. I don't really care though, you know? But if I'm arguing with lefties and their fan base are calling me like transphobic, homophobic, hateful bigot it's like no i'm not like that's dumbest we're on the same side why the fuck are you shitting on me like that so i think it just bothers you when uh, it must be the same for you guys like if you're arguing with a lefty or a progressive i don't think there's an, any insult that their fan base could use against you like you'd wear them as like badges of honor but when you're arguing with conservatives and they're saying like oh well you're not really christian or like you know you don't even have like any you know good traditional beliefs or you know you guys are actually secretly antifa informants or whatever like it's like well fuck you guys what the fuck you know i, I feel like that feeling is there yeah that's true that's very true you got a comment to add onto that guy? No. No. <laughs> well, I imagine some of that is like, there's like First this weird, time like, ever. Uh, there's this weird cult effect going on now. So like, you know, Nick has the AF cult and Vosh kind of has his own little cult of people who, uh, who are very like, you know, militantly like. Well, Nick uh, said it wasn't a cult. Online. No, it's, well, it's, talking... it's definitely cult-like. Cult it's, of personality. Uh, okay. That's the okay. Yeah. Cult, right? There you go. Yeah. I mean, Destiny and Augie got that going on too. I would say. Yeah, I remember I'm, me. I think it's a I'm Mormon, thing. and I'm Mormon. Hey, bring it in, guys. Bring yep. it in. Yep. Epic cult victory. Cult Mormon. What does that make you a big Glenn Beck fan, or? Uh, I was a fan of how he clapped back at Elijah, but no, he's like very cringe. What was I'm going on with that? Fan. Why would? Why did Elijah tweet that? Did uh, I miss some I drama, think, or is he looking for yeah, a new job? Yeah. So it was funny because when I was I was on slightly offensive, which is Elijah's show last week, and I, I brought it up, and you could tell he's like, bruh. <laughs> um, but yeah, Elijah just I don't know. People just feel the need to tweet out their disapproval of the LDS Church, and Glenn Beck basically said, "Hey Elijah, since you know so much about the truth, just wanted to check if you're okay with like being mentored by somebody who you know is going to hell." And uh, mm -hmm. and then he's like, I, I have nothing against you or whatever. It's like, we just have, like, I just have this disagreement with, like, the faith thing. But it really, to me, it's almost like a virtue signal. It's like people in Christianity, often non-denom, saying, I'm not a fan of Mormons. Okay. Missouri literally had an extermination order for us. It's not really a new thing. Well, 
There was a. Do you guys know that Slate Star Codex guy or whatever? Have you guys ever read anything by him? No. Oh, fuck. I I read an. Uh, he writes. There's a lot of really good shit. I mean, he's a left leaning guy, so maybe I don't know if you like it or not. But um, just a really, really, really good uh, essay that he wrote about um, like everybody hates the out group. And it's this idea that people will pretend that they're tolerant, but they're really only tolerant of people that they more or less fully agree with. And even when they're tolerant of like outgroup people, they're not really outgroup people. Um, and some of the examples that he would give is that like people will identify as political parties and then they'll be friends with like outgroup people, but those outgroup people aren't really outgroup people. They just have a label, but for all intents and purposes, they're like more or less part of the in-group that that person is a part of. So like an example of this would be, you might have a group of like eight progressives and they have like two conservative friends. And they're like, oh look, we've got conservative friends. There's a diversity of thought here. You know, like there are different types of people and we tolerate them. But when you talk to those conservatives, those conservatives aren't like the gun-toting, Trump-loving rural people. They're like, oh yeah, I'm conservative, but I'm pro-LGBT stuff. I think, you know, women should be able to have an abortion and you know, but I might vote for Trump because I'm like fiscally responsible. It's like those types of conservatives, you know? Mm. Um, yeah. I'm Here's reminded of that because you brought, up, you brought up the thing with the Mormon thing where it's like, oh, I just disagree with the beliefs, but I'm okay with like this or whatever. It's one of those things where it's like, okay, well, you know, do you actually tolerate these people or do you only tolerate the ones that align like 98% with your belief, but they're like 2% different. So, and you never talk about those 2% mm. differences, you know? I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday about this, where these people, I, I had friends who I'd been friends with for 11 years, and they recently fell out with me under the pretense that I was like a very violent and like um, harmful person. Uh, and they never like, they never steel man me like as their friend, they just kind of like took what people were saying about me uh, at face value, which I thought was sucky. But you know, I, w I wish them the best. Like I genuinely love those guys. Um, but they they were under that idea that I was this violent person. I'm like, okay, well, within your kind of moral framework, you're totally justified to basically kill me. So why are you not doing that? And I think a lot of times in politics, and I'm probably guilty of this myself, um, we posture a lot regarding how disapproving we are of the other side. But then you get people like Vosh who are basically saying Republicans are doing violence, but then try to waltz around the fact that that gives a moral justification or if their morality is is set up in a certain way they have a justification for literally just killing these people and the fact that they don't may be interpreted as them not really being as about their ideology as they are it's just really a virtue signal yeah i always thought it was really funny because i i, I point to the similarities now um I don't spend enough time on you guys to know what the fuck your actual beliefs are because of all your ironic bullshit. But I know that, like, Vosh today basically sounds like Fuentes did, like, a few years ago with, like, the very, like, crypto calls to fucking violence and guns. It's like, oh, well, I'm not actually saying that. I'm not. When he, whenever somebody tries to pin him down, they use terms like Fed posting now. The last guy that talked to Vosh, like, are you Fed posting at me? Are you trying to, are you trying to get me to do anything? Like, I would, ne I would never say we should kill lawmakers. Or I would never, ever say anything like that. But I'm just saying you should be ready for it. You know, I was like, what the fuck kind of world am I in? Jesus Christ. That was yeah. uh, Rose Wrist, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. I don't like Rose Wrist. Rose Wrist! What I a think great he's guy. I love that dude. I think he's cat. Young, bright, Swedish. What a great mm. guy. Mm. That's a little <laughs> implicit. That's a little implicit. <laughs> yeah, what are you dog was doing there, buddy? What are you dog was doing? Well, my wife is Swedish, Blood so it's actually, blue. for me, it's White, not a dog. Swedish, Nordic, <laughs> high IQ. <laughs> Jeez, well, wait, wait, he's got to be. The Northman? Is it... Did you watch The Northman? Obama. I did. You really liked that movie. I didn't like it that much. I was, uh, okay, so as like personal appreciation of the movie, mm -hmm. it's like nowhere near my top 10, mm -hmm. but everything in the movie was done really well. Yeah, of course, um, for sure. Absolutely, I agree with yeah. that, yeah. So so that's basically where I stand. I, did, mm -hmm. I didn't totally enjoy it um, as like, I would go back and watch it again, but mm -hmm. um, everything in it was just done really well. Uh, it was a great movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything was done well. I just, I thought it was kind of boring, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I ask a few super chats right now? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Dad Pit for five. Destiny, your appearances on Cozy are awesome. Don't believe the haters. The Groifers are the real DGGers, okay? We're the real Destiny heads. You're going to get banned on YouTube. Just accept it. Accept Cozy. Come home, Destiny. Wow, nice. And then wow, Dad Pit has a question. Oh, <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on. Dad totally reminded me. What you were saying about, like, uh, what you were just saying, the example of what was it destiny or, or whoever or you're saying with nick or vosh or something like that you totally reminded me about like the in-group out group thing with christianity that's how we feel about you when you like say something misogynistic it's like you're kind of like the in-group you're like an omni liberal but then you'll like say something really based or you'll just like think about things critically and we're like whoa he's just like us yeah so i say based things but this is the difference okay i love 
liberalism. Oh my God, I'm rock uh, hard uh, for liberalism. This is why I like okay, my uh, political you ideology. Always, over, you always quote it in irony, though. You whenever say, no, no. you say, I, okay, yeah, so let me liberal. let me be non-ironic. This is why I like liberalism. It's the same argument when I argue with socialists and we're talking about capitalism. So if, if somebody wants to argue like, oh, I think market socialism and co-ops are great, and blah blah blah, it's like, okay, listen, if you like co-ops, that's awesome, dude. In a capitalist market, you can have co-ops. If you want to do co-ops, you want to run your little grocery store, whatever, and everybody has money, that's great. You can do it. Capitalism is flexible enough to allow other types of, like, economic things to exist within it. And that's why I like liberalism. If you want to be, like, the most tradcon motherfucker in the world, you, you want to have your one wife or two or three if you're Mormon or whatever the fuck, and you want to live that lifestyle, you can do that in, like, a liberal society because you have the freedom to, to, to opt to do that. The problem with your guys' ideologies is that you hardcore prescribe rules to every individual in society. So in my society, there would be room, ideally, for people like you to live, but in your society, if I don't want to have a boring fuck wife that's barefoot, you know, pregnant all the time in my house, I don't have that option because like your your moral and social prescriptions are so fucking rigid. So I'll say things that sound based because I'm willing to defend like a large array of different thoughts. And because I do think some people make good points on different sides, but there's enough room in my ideology to fit a lot of different groups of people. Whereas I feel like the rigidity of yours is too restrictive for me. That's why I like liberalism over like the more uh, delineated ideologies or the more like restrictive ones. I just like when you say things like uh, you hate women and you're an incel. Yeah, I, when I heard that, I thought you, I was yeah. like, this is my BFF. And uh -huh. that's why he's my BFF. It's even like when, when you guys, the way you were just describing like I'm a liberal is the same way Nick will talk about um, having sex with women. He's like, I'm going to have heterosexual sex, vaginal, like, and, and it's like totally put in irony. But you, you said the same thing when you were talking about being a liberal. You're like, I freaking love liberalism so much. I believe him. I believe he loves liberalism. I do liberalism. love liberalism. Yeah, I'll defend it to the death for sure. He is the real Would you lip die for liberalism? What I what? Would you die for liberalism? Uh, in another country? No. On my <laughs> country? absolutely. fucking lootly You better believe it, dude. If Biden tried to draft me to go fucking fight in Russia, fuck that shit. I'd be moving to Sweden where my wife is. But if there were some Russian motherfuckers like landing on my soil, yeah, you better believe I'd grab my shit and I'm ready to fight to the hell yeah. Well, actually, I don't know. Now I have to think about it. It depends, I guess, on who I'm fighting alongside. <laughs> Would you live stream based, it? Based, based. <laughs> I have to think about that, actually. Um, Yoba, Yoba's I'll, I'll on the front Destiny lines. <laughs> front lines of combat. He's got Never go thought I'd be fighting alongside a DGG -er. Yeah. What about a fellow autist? <laughs> Let's go! Uh, yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Epic handshake? Jeez. So true. This is, this is it. This is it. This is it, Chief. It's the friendship. Uh, I don't think we say that word anymore. I think we got rid of that one. Got rid of that one. Chief, right? Well, Didn't they in California or some shit? Didn't they get rid of Chief? Oh, yeah, that's Did right. Really? <laughs> I thought you said we got rid of the word friendship. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, same. I was like, what? I, I thought me, Destiny, and Nick were all good friends. We're all on the friendship. Guys. Jesus, dude, we can arm up. We can be the Autistazov Battalion or whatever. Yo, let's go. Nick was Son and Rad's on the gun. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> kidding, oh, kidding, man. kidding, kidding. <laughs> We're anti-Sonnenrad. We're pro-Cross. It's, 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 by the way, it's a Sonnenrad, actually. So. Oh. <laughs> He's breaking out his foreign languages on us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, Miguel Alberto. All right. Yeah. See, Tom, this Miguel. is what I was talking about. He always says my name. It was some accent. I think he's I just mean, doing you, it. You do have a very ethnic name, you know. True. We're all Hispanics here. That's the real yeah. red pill is that it's really, it's all about Hispanics. <laughs> it all goes back to Napoleon. That's right. That's right. Yeah, Nick was talking about he wants to do an IRL stream in Florida with all the Hispanics of Cozy. Yeah. 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 I mean, I think Destiny and Augie are like five foot one, so it's kind of like lines up. Nice one. True. Well, you guys met IRL. You guys had an unofficial Cozy streamer meetup, Augie and Destiny. Dude, I should have come. I don't know oh how many of you guys we are DF versus Because Flamenco is not, right? Or, wait, so do you guys hate Flamenco right now, or what, where are you at on that? I don't hate him. Like, he just, he'd I be like a little Flamenco. sussy. <laughs> Okay, a little sussy. I think Flamenco's cool. Yeah, he I mean, I mean, he's cool. He is a little, he is a little sussy now and then. You know, there sure. were some interesting things in his uh, his history for sure. <laughs> oh, he's definitely a freak, but I like him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Nick, did you say he hates you? Yeah, I don't have a problem with him, but he hates me. Damn, interesting. Rough. Yeah, because it, maybe it's because of the flagging problem. thing or whatever. Maybe it's that. no, because because we I was on a stream with him about that, and I said like, hey, I don't have a problem with you, but I disagree. And uh, I think a lot of people hate me because they hate Ralph. Yeah. So. Interesting. Oh, you're Probably friends with are. Ralph? Me? I got to get off the site, dude. I didn't know you were. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan Ralph. He's it like always the contact comes back. Thanos, man. He's like, 
Yeah, I uh, I tweeted out I tweeted out I'd be coming on this stream. I got some interesting replies. One of them was from Mr. Mediker, uh, Race for Celsius. This one he said, he said, do me a favor and ask Nick what his favorite flavor of cum is. Thanks. Um, <laughs> Wait, if Nick and <laughs> oh yeah, true, you got you and Mediker should fight over something that's not Ralph related. <laughs> well, we did. I tried to have a debate with him because I told him I said like I don't think you're funny. Like I don't like your content and. Um, Okay, but he is funny, right? You only don't think he's funny because he's a poster. No, I never. The thing is, like, I thought he was not. I, before we had beef, I said that, you know. Really? That was okay. before we even had beef. I, and that's part of it because I said, you know, like, I think the Ralph Flamenco thing is is um, fair game. And then I said, also, I just don't like, because here's my problem. I think that he pretends to be above it all, but he's very much involved in all the e-drama. And I just, I don't like that, like, air of pretension, this, like, Does he really well, pretend I'm to be above it all, or is he just, like, is he, because I feel like if you were to ask him, this is what I feel like, I could be wrong, but I feel like if you were to ask him, Medicare, you are absolutely inundated in this e-drama shit. He'd be like, oh, yeah, of course, but I have fun with it, and I don't lie about it. I feel like that's what he's saying, because it feels like, it feels like, aren't you the one saying that you're kind of above it all while you're... No. No. No, I love. I like drama. I like. Well, we're all drama. just shit posts, and at the end of the day, is it just? Is it one of those things where everybody's like pretending that they're? It, it's like one of those things where two guys are in a room and like, I'm not mad, you're mad, and he's like, you're, I'm not mad, you're mad, and it's just like that, or? Yeah, that's that is literally what. It was. Okay, gotcha. All right. That was basically the entire debate. Yeah. There yeah. Was, and that, there was no real ground made the, either way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was. Well, you the also debate. think that like Medicare and to some extent drama channels play into this like larger ecosystem that like is harmful to you, right? Well, what I said is that, you know, those types will say, because the, the original debate was, oh, Ethan Ralph did the DMCA against Flamenco, and, like, that was crossing a line. That was against the rules. And mm -hmm. I said, well, because what they say is, well, we're just making fun of you, and you just can't take a joke. And part of the debate with Medicare was, like, well, clearly that's not entirely true, because it's one thing to make fun of somebody. It's one thing to do a laugh, but then it's like, somebody flies out to Portugal to stream snipe you and beat you up? Like, can is that really, at that point, can you say, oh, you just can't take a joke? Right. Like, in but, my opinion, it's more it's more two-sided than uh, they like to make it out. Well, to me, it seems like you do, like, a lot of conflating. Like, if some guy does, like, this crazy thing, now everybody who's in this sort of, like, circle that hates Ralph, like, they're all, like, to some extent responsible for that. Well, I'm not saying they're responsible for it. I'm just saying that, like... You know, it, no, it's... I would say I think that's a fair statement. If I if you have like a group of people that are doing something and then somebody goes really far and everybody's just kind of like sitting by laughing, I think there's some culpability there. Yeah, At the very like... least, there's like this implicit approval of it, which I think is fair to call out. My man, let's yeah, I go. Mean, I, I laugh. I laugh at Ralph, too, but it's like, am I now responsible for Cog showing up to Portugal to like whoop his ass or something or to bring his friend to like whoop Ralph's ass? Like, I feel like. I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. It's, well, it's problem. pretty simple. It's not about responsibility. It's about, like, well, what do you actually feel about these things, you know? Because you can, it's, I don't like it when people, is it talking out both sides of your mouth, what's the phrase? If you're saying that, like, uh, like, oh, well, I'm not a part of that, and now I don't know if this is true, but people will say that, and then I'll go through their Twitter histories, and they're, like, on Twitter, like, liking, you, like, oh, dude, like, did you see Ralph get fucked up? The hair? Oh, my God. Like, and then the next day, they're like, well, hold on. Like, I'm not a part of that. Like, I didn't actually go out and hit him. And it's like, no, but you're, like, part of the ecosystem that feeds into those types of things, right? Which is fine if you want to be, but, like, be honest about it. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying you are. I don't know enough about you to say, but, like, yeah. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. That's Let's go. See, and that's what I was saying is because in, in the case of, like, Ralph and Flamenco, you know, Ralph DMCA'd the Flamenco stream. And, uh, and I said, yeah, that's, like, a shitty thing to do. But Flamenco's doing shitty things to Ralph. And only one side is saying, like, oh, you went too far, we're just making fun of you. It's like, well, clearly it takes two to tango. The Ralph drama goes back like a billion years. I don't even know all the lore, but it's like he's- you Like know, a decade long, it's yeah. It's too yeah. deep. There's beef with everybody. And, you know, and so I jump on a stream of Flamenco and Ralph and I'm like, all right, what's going on? And they explain their sides. And I said, so, okay, well, I mean, look, it's shitty. It's shitty to show up to someone's event. And disrupt it. It's shitty to accuse someone of rape. It's shitty to DMCA somebody. But there's only one side that's sort of saying like, "Hey, what the heck, man? We're just making fun of you." And it's like we can all we're all on the internet. We can all take a joke. You know, I, I joke about myself. But well, that is you know, fair. I'll say that. Yeah. I mean, like with the rape stuff. Like I never covered the rape thing, for instance. In fact, somebody brought it up to me, and I said that I didn't believe it. 
right? And so they like, bring their kid. I, they bring his kids into it. That's fucked up, you know. And they I mean, bring like, his, his son into it. The way that I, yeah, I'm not cool with that stuff either, though. Like, and I've never done that. That's the yeah. Thing. And I'm it's not. Like, I'm not blaming you. I never blamed you. Okay, I'm, just I'm only just asking you because I heard my name brought up in like the debate that you and Medgar had like three or four different times. So I, I feel like I was being thrown into like this circle, and I'm just like, I, I don't know if I deserve that necessarily. So, but I don't know. Maybe I don't think I brought you in in that context. I was talking about. How, like, I think YouTubers are particularly sensitive about, like, flagging because you rely on YouTube. And I think I was saying in that context, you know, mm -hmm. YouTubers are going to, you know, draw a hard line at flagging because that affects them in a way that it doesn't affect Yeah, that's that 10 weeks of revenue that's lost now. Yeah, which I, and I get that, but I'm just saying, like, that's why you would be more sensitive to somebody getting flagged as opposed to some of the shit that is done to Ralph. And I was just trying mm -hmm. to point out that it's it's there. There's two sides to it in the sense of it's like, you know, Ralph is being accused of rape and then he files a DMCA claim. Well, you're a YouTuber. Of course, you'd be sensitive to DMCA thing. But, you know, it's going both ways is the point. There's this longstanding drama, people fucking with each other that goes beyond just for the lulls. Uh, but only one side is sort of like, you know, they're, they're going to I'm not touching you. I'm not touching. You, I'm not hitting you. And then somebody punches back, and then they're like, what? You know, you just can't take a joke. It's like, well, you know, clearly there was a little bit more to it than that. And that's all I said. Why can't Susan just let us back on YouTube and uh, stop banning us, you know, ban DMCAs, and then we can all just shit stalk each other, call each other. I just and, want uh, and the internet to be a place where <laughs> yeah, it's like go people back. that stream for a living are like, you know, somebody talks shit, and then somebody's talking shit back to them, right? Like all these like dirty underhanded tactics that like just... It's so much nicer when the internet is just like a battlefield and everybody's just fucking talking shit. Like, I, I wish, like, the rules work. that we should play by, this is how it used to be a long time ago, before any of you guys were on the internet, okay? I'm cool with anybody going anywhere. If you want to make fun of my kid or me as a dad or call me gay or whatever, anything you want to do, yeah, that's cool. But just, if you're going to mm -hmm. go there, you have to be ready for the other person to go there too. Like, mm -hmm. this is like my thought. People always say something like, Did you, um, like, that guy is horrible. He called this other dude, like, this, this, and that. And I'm like, damn what the other guy do first? Because that's where my mind always goes. I'm like, well, did he earn it? Did he do some fucked up shit where the other guy can hit him back like that? And like, nobody ever seems to know or care about that. Like people, like yeah. this is so much of my drama and I have to rearrange my thinking because nobody thinks like the same way. So you just look bad. But like people bring up like, didn't you make fun of this person's appearance and they're trans? Or didn't you make fun of this person's uh, whatever? And you know, they've got this. You made fun of that girl for trying to commit suicide. It's like, yeah, I did. But like, Two weeks earlier, like, she said that I was raping my wife on stream. Like, yeah, no fucking shit I'm going to make fun of this person like crazy. Yeah, what do you mean? Like, but people don't seem to have, like, every new insult is, like, a new, in a vacuum thing they evaluate. And it's just, I don't know, it's really irritating to me. Well, if things are just, like, cherry-picked because it feels really nice to, like, make a statement and be like, X person did X thing wrong. And then you yep. can spread it around and everyone, you know, gets, yeah, like, a, gets it. on a big bandwagon about it. People should I, be able I to go as hard as they problem. want. But just, if you're going to go that hard, just be ready for other people yeah. to go hard, too. Like, that's it. And then uh, everybody's yeah. chill. The there you go. Is People just act like they care about the things they don't, right? So people will, like, all the time, they, they'd, like, message me, and they'd be like, dude, somebody said, like, this thing or whatever, or, like, somebody did this, this, and that. Um, or, or that was, like, the thing about accusations of, like, transphobia or, like, racism or something like that. It's like, if you don't care about that, don't act like you do just because, you know, other people are going yeah. to get upset about it. And that makes the internet so stupid is that everybody is acting like they care about things that they really don't. And that's why it becomes so fake. You know, the internet was there for people to say whatever cruel, like, uh, twisted, deep, dark thoughts they had and be really mean and whatnot. Now it's just a bunch of people acting like they care about things that they don't. And Destiny, you had a good point where people will, like, bring stuff up as, like, shields in conversation. Like, you bring up either, like, uh, like somebody who died or, like, a, a pet that's passed away. Or, oh, like, like, the R play stuff. Hassan is like, that was my yeah. dead dog. And yeah, like, no, it wasn't, yeah, stupid was fuck. Stuff. It was a bunch of pixels. And if you didn't want it to be, like, on the battlefield, why did you play it? Just don't put the picture there. Like, e Jesus. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. That was hilarious. That was, that was hilarious. So by the way we enjoy that that was yeah, actually so an insane mobilization that was impressive i got a yes, dedicated most fan base yeah. the cult of stephen bonnell count <laughs> me in count me in stephen the swastika bonnell jesus real oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that's such a good quote Dude, the there. intro destiny can i have uh can i have my um uh, one thousand pound player, yeah. Can I have it? <laughs> Just send me an email. And you're. I, I posted. Okay. I posted them in the fitness channel. I posted all I, the. Dude, lists. I don't check my Discord. That Discord is crazy. I get a lot of weird shit. That Can goes I? On I'll there. just send it to your your personal Discord. Okay, I just want my gotcha. flare in, okay. the, in the Destiny Discord. Gotcha. Want to bang out? It's really important questions. to me. Uh -huh. really I don't think we have flares in the Discord, do we? Oh, where do you have flares? Then? It's in my DGG chat. 
Oh. Yeah. Where do I go for that? You go to his website, destiny.gg. All right. Hold on, I want to get through a few questions. This question is for me, Nick, Destiny, and Kai. It starts off by complimenting Kai's mustache, but then asks <laughs> your, our thoughts on Adolf Hitler, which I'm not a big fan of him. I don't think he's a good guy. I hope everybody else. Oh, again. I disavow. I disavow. Yeah, Nick, Nick's a big fan of Joseph Stalin, though. That's the guy. That's right. That's right. Yep. What's the Sam Hyde quote? I dislike Hitler <laughs> and I disapprove of what he did. It's true. That is true. Because I never understood why people like have to like say that. It's like, yeah, I think it goes without saying. But then you got like these people like, Hitler was very, it was a mean guy. Like, yeah, of course. <laughs> why do you have to yeah, put that? I mean, a lot Does of it really go without of... saying, though? I mean, I think it's a fair question sometimes, <laughs> yeah. given the uh, type of human you guys engage with. I don't know if it goes without saying, you know? I think that's a my fair favorite. question sometimes. My favorite was Norm MacDonald when he was like, the more I hear about this Hitler guy, the less there is to lie about. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, I don't like Hitler. Yeah, I mean, definitely Hitler 1 had a lot of problems. I, I definitely respect the <laughs> critic opinion on that. But <laughs> Hitler's, two, three, Hitler's two, 3, and 4 remains to be seen what could happen. Okay? <laughs> uh, <laughs> still sort of uh, open book on that You got to give Hitler, <laughs> Hitler 2, 3, and 4 a benefit of the doubt, okay? You know, <laughs> <laughs> He's got a lot to prove, you know? He's, uh... Do not listen to Rotten Tomatoes, okay? Ignore that website. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, and Destiny, not... but you didn't give us your thoughts on Hitler. What are your thoughts? Not a big fan of the guy. Is that is that meta irony or uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Dustin, are you dog with someone? No, I guess well that'll be determined, huh? It depends on who publishes what video of me, but I guess at what point in time. Huh? So Temrio yeah. keeps asking me, he keeps spamming in chat for like the last like thirty minutes to answer this question. For Destiny, for three dollars, I'm recruiting Destiny to Stew Crew. We will redact our enemies what do you think of stew crew destiny are you part of the stew crew what is the stew crew nick do you want to explain it to him <laughs> Stu peters is this uh sort of awesome bounty hunter that uh is a flat earther and a rapper and a white rapper <laughs> you know you gotta you, you would have to watch you'd have to watch the speech i don't know yeah. <laughs> i think i think i think stew would like destiny i think they get along they have sort of the same like no holds barred no no prisoners taken energy in my opinion Wait, do so, you and Stu still have beef? Or do we have beef? Yeah. Stu mad at him. Um, well, I, I would say, you know, like I said, that was sort of his Kanye moment. He had his VMAs <laughs> 2009 moment. I'm still not happy about it, but I can't stay mad at the guy forever. You know, I can't hold a grudge forever, so. I think Destiny should watch that speech on stream. I'd like to see his reaction to it. No, yeah, maybe not. I don't think he'd like that one. I don't think he'd like that one. You can hear know. me and Tenryo the whole speech just like screaming shit because we were in the front row. <laughs> so yeah, good. Yeah, that was raunchy. Uh, optics check on the statch guy, the mustache. But also Literally just life. a mustache. <laughs> it's not a Hitler stash. It's not. It's none of this. It's just a mustache. It's just a mustache. Uh, we have gracious. we have Destiny now. We are unstoppable. Anonymous for five. It's Pride Month. If Nick comes out, we will all support him. Very funny. Uh, next page. Super How do you chats. guys feel about oh. gay people? Are you cool with gay people in your movement, or is that like degeneracy to you guys? Uh, I don't really support them. No. Uh, I I debated a couple of trans individuals um, from your crew, Destiny, and I told them to stop being trans. I had a it was a polite it was a civil conversation, but I told them I said you got to stop. Got to stop being transgender. Yep. So I am uh, asexual, though. So I'm sort of celebrating the month as a part of the community as an <laughs> asexual. So I am part of. The I, I don't know about Augie, but over on the YouTube side of things, definitely fine with gay people. Don't really, uh, don't really have any issues nice. with, with them. Yeah, <laughs> what do you mean? I love them. They're my entire audience. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Very true. Yeah, very true. I don't really have an issue with them personally. Has, has Nick? Have you had a talk with Mr. Grill yet? Uh, no. Oh, when is that going to be scheduled? I don't know. What? Who is he? What's his story? He emailed me. Oh, and you dodged ago. the conversation. Is that what I just I heard? didn't. I oh forgot to reply. There's a lot going on, but uh -huh. uh, I'll, I'll do a stream with him. What, what if we all did a stream together? You, me, and Mr. Girl. Uh, yeah, I mean, if he wanted to, yeah. I think he's banned from YouTube for a week, so he's coming back oh. in a couple days. So. What's his Destiny. Is he like, uh, isn't there something going on with him, like allegations or something? I thought there was like no, not really. He might be, well, the, really the, the most credible ones are things you probably like. Like he might be abusive to his girlfriend. So you think you guys oh. are, 
paste, yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Header of the email, dear Nick Fuentes, I beat my wife. Would you like to talk <laughs> Destiny, you, you, gotta watch, you gotta watch the the video i sent you or the one that's coming out tomorrow or two, two in two days because it features the discussion we had in like part of the mr girl conversation uh i think you would cack at it and uh what by the way what was up with mr girl i don't know if you remember the stream um he just like flipped out at me and i've never seen him do that before did you prime him did you tell him to be more cutthroat me yeah. Oh, um, I know what that's about. There's actually, there's got to be some. There's got to be a reason. Like there was an MK Ultra switch because he's usually very passive. But like we, you and I were talking, I think about voting or something, and he just like flipped out suddenly. Fuck! I'm trying to remember what happened. Dude, dude, I'm pretty I sure the reason why the he hates you, because I think he actually told me about this once. Because like I've had Mr. Girl in my streams like a couple times. I think he told me like you called him like. Jewish on a panel, or you kept calling him like a Jew, like every like. I literally didn't. I literally he, didn't. I mean, that would be a reason like, to hate somebody if you did that. So I well, mean, no, he told me this is the funniest thing, right? He told me he's like, I don't mind when people call me like a pedophile, like I'm I'm used to that, but when people like make fun of me for being Jewish, like I hate that. It's like my least favorite thing in the world. And I was just sitting there like, bro, like okay, the the this context place priorities, the, the context of him being called Jewish was literally a super chat I read two hours into the, this, into the discussion, and it was a dude who also had a Jewish mom asking uh, Mr. Girl how he feels about overbearing Jewish mothers. That was literally it. So that's a total lie if Mr. Girl said that. Wow. He spurred I mean, out I could at be me misremembering, and I were talking. I know he complained to me about somebody, and I'm like 90% sure it was you. He said I bullied him. I, I was like feeling bad. It was like this... 30-something-year-old dude. How old is he? Like, 30-something, right? Oh, wait, yeah, I remember it now. Because on another stream he was talking about, he was like, yeah, I really hate that, like, Kai guy. But yeah. I also don't want to be become, like, Steven Crowder, who's, like, he considers, like, Steven Crowder, like, the worst person in the world. Like, he's mm -hmm. like, I don't want to just, like, be angry at teenagers like he does all day or something. I don't know. I just, I just saw that comment. How can you hate Kai? I guess I was mean. I apparently bullied him. He's such a nice guy. He's he so, he's called me a, he gets so much shit. He's like the nicest guy on the entirety of Cozy. I don't know. I don't know about that. Oh, I I'm nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I agree. I agree. But, you know, I'm putting it. Uh, you can be mean sometimes. You can be, that's no, um, I'm yeah, the sometimes. ultimate sweetheart. I'm, most, I'm literally a sweetie pie love monger, and everyone. <laughs> Everyone knows that. No, I take it back. Nick. I take it, it was back. Thanks. Destiny. It was the conversation where that libertarian jumped out. Do you remember that at the beginning when he saw Mister Girl? Where the libertarian jumped out. Oh, Fabian or whatever. Yeah, yeah I kind of remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Anyway, just watch the video in two days. It'll catch okay. you up. Gotcha. Since we're showing videos, I have a video about Destiny coming out. It's going to talk about Destiny and the Catfolk drama. Talks about Augie too. Be on the Mike Alberto YouTube channel, MikeAlberto.com. I don't like Keffels. I very much dislike Keffels. <laughs> no way. What does everybody here think about Keffels? I'm pretty sure everybody here is going to fucking hate Keffels. <laughs> massive Keffels fan. Is. Massive fan. Yeah, huge uh, huge fan. Really Meta cool. irony from Tom right there. <laughs> I actually, yeah, no, I mean, Keffels is definitely like one of the worst people to come out of like anything online in like the past three years. Yeah. Sure. Such a vicious That's person. Awesome. Desi, I don't know if you heard about this or, or whatever, but... Keffels is like so insane. They were messaging like individual, like just random people that watched me that are also trans and like telling them that like I hate them and they should like unsubscribe from me. Like it wasn't even just that. She was messaging them being like, I'm so sorry that Augie's like community. She like wanted to like be like all these people's like friends or something and was like gassing them up in DMs. I'm like, you're somebody with like a hundred thousand followers on Twitter. Like, I don't know why you're just like so weirdly like obsessed with my community of all places like i don't know this person seems totally deranged didn't yeah. they bring like polis who's like a trans person on your stream to debate <laughs> yeah dude they're they did a stream <laughs> she won't trying, debate like, you though she won't debate yeah. you no she won't debate me she wants me to pay like 500 dollars like a charity or something and i said i wouldn't i'm like i'm not gonna talk to somebody where i have to like pay money for it mm -hmm. you're literally bigger than them like you, you get more average i get more than viewers than them too so it's like i should they should be paying me to come on my stream actually that's that's what the deal should be but well one of the yeah. most interesting things about keffles to me is that like she has such a big following on twitter and so many people are so you know passionate about her tweets or whatever but her like her actual content like no one really watches it relative to everything else um, yeah, and i guess it kind of just illuminates to me that like her entire following on twitter is just built off of like like rage baiting people yeah oh, that's, that's exactly what, what it is does, i go yeah. into that in my video you know like 
you know, she has 100k Twitter followers. She's getting less viewers than Augie, who only has 12k live concurrent viewers. I up until I, before I got banned, I had like 3,000 viewers, and we get like the same amount of like YouTube viewers per video. So it's just like. Some people think it's bots. I don't think it's bots. I think what's going on is you have like all these big lefties like hyping her up because oh, she's gonna ratio the big mean uh, conservative Twitter account, and that's all people care for her for. Yeah, she yeah, had actually, waits a while. I don't think saw, but she was complaining that like when she was trying to do like real trans activist work, nobody was watching or engaging, and she was like really upset about it. And it's like, I mean, well, would it look at all your content, of course. Yeah, well, that's the most frustrating thing. She she'll tweet things like, "What? Why does everyone care about about me and all my drama? Why don't you care about the actual issues?" And then she'll like she'll be like, "I always want a ratio, you know, whoever under like a serious political post." Like she does not give a shit. Yeah. Yeah. Destiny, do you think ratios are politically effective? <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> about as effective much, as banner but, drums. You know. And also, it doesn't work when you're trying. I don't. Nobody knows anything about anything. Fuck. Do you know? Like, do you know why <laughs> ratios were funny initially? is because somebody would make a tweet that was so fucking bad that they'd end up getting more engagement in the replies than they would. Yeah, but it's not funny when you're trying to ratio somebody. It's, that's not like actually what's happening anymore, right? It's just it's, petty. It's, yeah, it, or it's not authentic. It's not. It wasn't why it was funny. Like if you made a tweet that was so bad, more people replied to it than liked it. That's funny. But now when people are like trying to like, oh, let's all go reply to we ratio them. It's like, okay, well, like you're completely missing the point now, you know? Yeah, but well, then it became like post ironic where it just became ratioing people for whatever. Mm -hmm. And that became funny. It's like you couldn't tweet anything without people trying to ratio you. Yeah. I see Nick smiling because I know he's been on the ratio. Uh, uh oh. Yeah, I, Are I, you I a support... ratioer, Nick? Oh, yeah. Serial oh, ratioer. No. I like because, uh, yeah, you just quote tweet someone and say ratio. <laughs> game over. You win. You oh, win the argument. God. It's over. Been going That's a real Zoomer trait. Zoomer meta ironies, you know, so you wouldn't get it, but uh He's been really going at this guy, uh, Bronze Age Pervert and like his crew on With Twitter. Big ratio. Awesome you, how ratio. many how many Twitter burners did you go through on this campaign? Like five so far. Five. I have to make a new one every other day. I get banned literally every Me other too, day. Me too, dude. Uh, Live yes. lips, shy chips. Yeah, so chum weird. bucket. Yeah, guy, what the uh, hell? <laughs> yeah, they get yeah. on my too. I didn't they even got, do anything. They got what were my accounts? Daquan Sanchez, uh, Jamal. Yeah, what Lopez. did you tell me? There's some journalists going around doing a uh, doing. Yeah, Nick Martin things. and Chad Lorder. They're Nick, uh, they're Nick, out to get me. Nick uh, Martin is anti suckle gang. Oh um, yeah, he made a tweet calling you like creepy or whatever for saying that. He like literally just said what is awesome and true. He's like Kai Clips, a 19 year old conservative influencer, went on stream and talked about how he wanted a wife and kids and to consume breast milk and advocated for it. And it's like, yeah, what That's about exactly it? What I did. Yeah, what about it, Nick Martin? You look like an egg. You look like the guy. <laughs> you look like the guy from Breaking Bad who has the red hair, but in in El Camino when he's fat. That's when you look like him. I gotta look up what this guy looks like, Nick Martin. You like exactly Nick Martin. Like Nick Martin is sort of pro Groiper. He cleared my name about that fake scandal last week. He, really? he verified. Yeah. yeah. He said that it turned out to be a hoax. So he's sort of uh, helping a bro out here. So I appreciate he's that. He's helping you out. Yeah. Thanks, yeah he's, Nick got, he's got some. He's got a little integrity. You gotta hand it to him. Yeah. Yeah. So absolutely. Like Garrett Holt, who's been like your arch nemesis for like five years. Yeah. Yeah. Even him. Even him. He's. Uh, the journalistic integrity. We appreciate that from them. Yeah. Dude, I went to school with people like this. They just suck. Like, prospective journalists are not uh, not people you want to be around. Very bitter. Mm, real. Real. Mm. I want to get through a few more Super Chats to keep falling behind. Free speech, bro, for three. Omni Groiper has a nice ring to it. Get on it, Mr. Bon Bonnet. What do you think about that, Destiny? Are you going to become a Groiper soon? Probably not, my dude, but, you know. Probably. Imminent. Imminently. Anonymous for three. Nick, with all personal respect, personal victories do not amount to movement victories. Wendy Rogers for tweeting, Paul Gozar, who disavowed you, is not a victory for your label. America Damn. First has transcended you. You are a toxic oh. brand and now reap oh, the reward. No. What do you think He's about losing that? losing control of his oh. movement. What That's a think? joke. Gozar never disavowed us. He literally retweeted somebody with an America First hat last week. I thought he said you had like you talked too much. He said, I thought he said something like that. Or was that like a yeah? Fake well, thing? you know, people people have to say these things. He was at AFPAC two. Mm -hmm. He was at AFPAC three. Uh, 
you know, this is this is the dance. This is the it's politics, we right? Do. Yeah, so that's a cope. Um, would Destiny go to AFPAC? Oh, we already did that one. DGG stands for Destiny Droiper Gang. Uh, did we get these ones? I think Destiny, we did. what's your email? My email? Yeah. It's contact at destiny.gg. Right, I, I tried back. emailing him for like a month for like the Destiny interview. Like, you just never responded to me. Oh. Or the JonTron interview, you never responded. What, what did you email me on? Uh, what do you mean? What email did you send it to? De contact at destiny.gg. Because I contacted your mod, one of your mods. I'm like, can you tell Destiny that I want to talk to him? He's like, go through his email. Huh. Never got to you. Then I got to Brittany, and she like set it up in like a day. So big old sevens to Brittany. And shout out to Fumanko again for getting this set up. You know, Discord banned my account, so I couldn't DM Destiny anymore. Damn. Esoter Esoteric vision for three. We, fuck we you love my get banned on Discord all the time. Can you just chill for a little bit? No, what it was. Fuck? Nick, do you want to tell the story? About what? No, we you all got the why you keep throwing it? Why you keep kicking <laughs> well, it? Because everybody's here story. for you. You're 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 the top. Bill. You're the star. No, you're no, star. no. Destiny's the star here. Okay, well, Destiny's basically, UX was doing Twitch raids, and then the Twitch uh, ad, or not the Twitch admins, the, the Discord admins found the cozy Discord, so they nuked everybody, including. Augie, who's AFK, you know, Augie's just like a apolitical like drama streamer. He's not political. They got they nuked his ass too. No, they too. banned me because yeah, because I think I was in like a server yeah. like a, the Cozy TV Discord server. Yeah. And just because I was in there, that was enough for me to get banned. And then I sent an appeal, and they were like, "You're never getting unbanned. Goodbye." Damn. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, "Fuck wow. Discord. I I fucking hate this banning shit." Mage yeah, Discord's con. intense. <laughs> the worst thing Discord does is they they the won't just ban you and shit? delete your account. Oh. Well, they won't just, like, ban you. They'll fucking, like, make you, like, not be able to sign into your account. So it'll still be there. And people will DM it thinking that you're still, you still have access to it, but you can't sign into it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what happened to my Discord is, like, all the mods and me got banned on Discord. And people were like, take control of your server. People are sending coffee. And it's like, dude, I would if I could, man. I would if I could. I'd love to. But uh, I kind of got banned. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, yeah I got banned from Discord like, years ago. I got banned from Discord in 2019. Before it was cool to get banned. Dude, we're from behind the times. <laughs> yeah. What were you doing in 2019, or was that just like when you got banned? It was from because of this uh, unicorn riot, this Antifa site. They did a big expose on the identity Europa Discord, and they got James Allsup's Discord and uh, mine as well. So it's February 2019. They all went interesting. Down. James Allsup, what's he, what's he up to now? I haven't. He's haven't uh, selling all his belongings on eBay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I was well, telling Tom about this. Oh yeah, yeah we did talk about this. Yeah. yeah, he he was in real estate or something. He was in real uh, estate. Yeah, and then he and he changed his name, and then uh, the journalists found him, and they called his his uh, work. I thought you guys fired. made up after that drama. Or whatever. Yeah, and then he threw me under the bus again. This guy like raided the business. We had a big drama, and then I, he apologized to me, and I forgave him. And then during the Griper War, he uh, called me a fed because he was jealous. So yeah, now, now it's. I spit, I'll be right back. I Hold on. Don't be on behave yourselves. All that right. was like probably the first time I heard of you. That was some old lore, like like old kill stream shit. I remember Keemstar was like in chat. He was like, "That was a bad business decision" or some shit like that. That was pretty funny. Yeah, we were talking about this Tom, when we were in Boston. Yeah. We randomly brought up that stream. I remember when Keemstar was in the chat. Well, it's just wild to me that like there's this weird intersection of like YouTube drama and like Keemstar in particular just pays attention to all that shit. I don't know. I find it interesting. Well, Keemstar loves it. live streams, so he pays attention to all the big streams. Oh yeah. So even if it's like right or left wing, you know, he's gonna be there. I actually don't know if yeah. he really follows. He like, doesn't watch the left wing guys. No. Well, they're, it's just boring. It's well, this person said they were an economic socialist in 2017, but now they're anarchist communists. But I think that they're grifting and misuse. It's like so dumb. The meanwhile, yeah. over here, it's like Ethan Rao beat up in Portugal for like the <laughs> second time. That's like our drama. Let's I'm not go. shitting on Ralph. I'm not shitting on Ralph. Our but, drama. Uh, Stu Peters dispatched to Portugal to kill political <laughs> opposition. Okay, okay, we're on YouTube. <laughs> Your destiny tells us to behave, and you know you just can't. Yeah, just can't yeah. Did he say behave? Damn. He did say he did tell us to behave ourselves. I'm just Fuck, like, older brother. Dude. This is my chance. <laughs> 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 
Uh, Dalton Quadfelter for five. Fuck Suckle Gang. All my N words hate Suckle Gang. Hashtag lean in. Viewer for free. Ask De- okay, I'm gonna ask that. Ask Destiny if he shares Nick's disdain for fat women. Nick, can you ask that question? And yeah, I ha- I absolutely hate fat women. So me and Destiny mm-hmm. are on the same page on that one. Well, you gotta ask him. Gotta ask him when he comes back. Yeah. Is ask it just a is it a visual thing for you, or what is it about? Uh, well, I just said what I said on my show is like if I had a fat wife, it would be the most embarrassing thing I could imagine. You know what I mean? Like, could you imagine if you had like a fat girlfriend or wife, and you show up to the function and you have to introduce <laughs> her to like all your friends, like? Hey guys, like here she is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, Unfor- unfortunately, I think after childbirth that does uh, that does happen a lot. Well, yeah. with child, that's one thing. If it's childbirth, but if if there's no kid, like, and she's just fat, got to be honest, man. Uh, who was it? Caitlin Bennett. Kind of chunky now, kind of big. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, <on> no. <laughs> hey, we like Caitlin yeah. Bennett, all right? We like Caitlin Bennett. Like Caitlin Bennett. I was showing her support. She was uh, she was tweeting some good stuff out uh, regarding Suckle Gang, regarding adjacent to Suckle Gang, and we're coalition building. But mm. uh, but. So Nick, you're anti fat women. <laughs> 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 They're the fucking face guy, goddamn. Yeah, I'm, I'm anti. I'm anti fat. What about thick women? I'm anti fattest. Uh, I see. I'm personally not in the thick, but uh, you know it is what it are, is. Are you like? Are you one of the guys that's into anorexic women though? Um, yeah, something like that. I like it's skinny. Uh, <laughs> I like skinny. No, what uh, else is there? This is no this this thick women thing is a psyop. Okay, no, it's not. Yes, thank you, thank you. They're they're trying to destroy us. We like skinny bitches. M- MF right? is over here. MF is over here looking at like any depiction of women in like Greece or Rome or any time oh, before man. the last hundred years. Any time oh, before the last hundred years, uh, women don't look like Victoria's Secret runway models because because well, I don't want I don't want women, them to look like that. Hey, that's because those women literally cannot carry a child to term. If you're that skinny, you literally will not be able to carry a child to term. So it's a psyop stopping people from having healthy children. I fundamentally that's, that's disagree with that. I, I I will never be with a woman. You paint your who, nails, Tom. I will never be with a woman who can <laughs> overpower me. Okay? It's based, I need he's a, an e-boy. I need a woman who's unable to resist my advances, okay? And that means she has to be under 100 pounds, okay? Okay, so, so then the difference is just start lifting. It's like once you lift, it, it becomes more and more. Why like, would I lift? I need a – no, no, no. I'm I'm staying skinny. I'm staying thin. Let's okay? go. Nah, nah. Way I am. So no muscle We're girls, not changing. No muscle girls? I will never work out. I will not eat. Okay, I'll do that. I'll Let's just not go, eat. dude. No. Turkey Tom based as fuck. I'll go for walks. <laughs> See, me, me and Kai, get it. me and Kai get it. Me and Kai yep. get it. Oh, no, fuck you, Michael. Tom, My, Michael, you weigh like thirty pounds less than me, motherfucker. <laughs> I saw you in person. Okay, I could, yeah. I could break you like a twig. Okay? No, you could. Frank Hassel could have easily done that. He could have killed you too when we hung out. But uh, Frank, uh, Frank, Frank I mean, he yeah, he's anybody. uh, yeah, he, he's a skilled operative, skilled agent. Yeah, you could take anyone out. He could. Uh, but I will defend Tom on one thing, though. He did not have his nails painted when I saw him in person. So mm-hmm. there oh, you go, good. Tom. I haven't had them painted in like quite a while, actually, because now that I'm not uh, not in college. Yeah. Just, like, I don't, I don't, like I don't leave my house. So, fewer, you know. fewer women. Fewer women. To fewer manipulate. women to manipulate. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. 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 Aspie Groyper for three. Keffels is a well, you see, oh, I'm just doing it because one, it's just respectful. I think it's a respectful and the professional thing to do. And also, we're on YouTube, so there you go. Ten dollars anonymous. Are Spaniards considered white? Yes. Oh, here we go again. They are, but they're still considered Hispanic. They're the Portuguese and yeah. the Spanish. They're considered white, but they're white Hispanics. I don't know why everybody thinks Hispanics are race. It's not. Okay, True. it's Castiza and Mestiza, all right? Or Cast- Castizo, Mestizo. That's mm. the dichotomy. People don't understand it. Castiza chilling, Mestizo, you know, that's more of a question. Well, since Destiny's back, what do you think of fat women? What do you think about fat women, Destiny? Depends since on, we what, were talking what, about depends on what you mean by fat. What are you eating there? What you got? <laughs> um, I've got a burrito. No, no. Talking to my <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I know. I'm saying I've got a burrito as well. It's like we're doing food time. Ah, okay. What's uh, what's on the menu for today, Steve? Half cup of oats, a uh, thing oh, of oh. casein, and some chocolate chips, and mm, wow, and a cup it's of. It's not nuts. very tasty. Oh. It doesn't sound very oh, exciting. So that's, a, that's a good breakfast. My yeah. breakfast for the past like four weeks has been a cup of oats, a cup of milk, and a scoop of protein powder. A full cup of he's, oats. He's on that's a lot of carbs. Oof. Yeah, I need it though. I have to eat thirty-five oh, yeah, hundred calories like a, a day. Yeah, never mind. Forget. Yeah, I'm not a monster. I'm just trying to bulk. Yeah. 
I had a uh, so bacon funny. McDouble uh, for breakfast yesterday. Ooh, okay. Wait, hold on. I'm reading all these articles that like fascies and shit are starting to work out. Shouldn't all you guys be doing gym stuff and not just cut? Well, I mean, yeah, everyone's telling me to, but I don't want to, okay? Even uh, even Ben you Shapiro is getting it. pretty ripped, man. Are you gonna, you're really going to let him beat you up if you guys run into each other in an event? We're not evil. Well, no, oh, dude, no. Destiny, we believe in firearms, right? We're pro <laughs> oh, firearm. Yeah. We're pro killing a, a sailor. Uh, yeah. Whoa, in a video game. In a video game. In a video game. Uh, in, a video game in Minecraft. Game. Listen, I, I'm a, you know, I'm like an eccentric genius. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm like Joker. I'm skinny. You know, you and I are very alike <laughs> in that way, Destiny. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, Sam, you know, we're all skinny Hispanics. Skinny That's white right. Hispanics, true. Yeah, I'm an I'm artist. Just, I just Although don't I'm, I'm in. anorexic. I'm anorexic. I'm an emaciated artist. This is uh, Kai, you're the outcast. You're the outcast. Okay. I'm, I'm German. You're the white I lift man. weights and you're I'm the out group. No, I left now. I started I'm left. Placed. They I started my destiny. I've been a long time fan. Please give I'm me a shout I'm sorry, Lift Kai. I took you and Spooky's advice. Let's go. Let's go. It no, we're coming in, okay, it's Kai. It only took you. somebody grooming you on Discord to get you to lift. <laughs> oh my God. And enough right. of these muscle guys getting the girl, okay? What about the skinny guy getting the girl? The skinny okay? guy always gets the girl. Women don't like big muscles. Well, well, here's the thing. You see, when you're like an anorexic, like skinny white person like me, right? The only they women who are interested. No, it's only bisexual women that are interested in you. <laughs> you know, I think I'm gonna pass on that, honestly. What's wrong with bisexual women? Of all the things to have well, interest it's, with. It's like they got like the dyed hair, you know. Actually, I do like that's the ooze. ego. Okay, you're not okay you need to shut the fuck up, Michael. All these fact. guys that are like, I hate bisexual women. I hate women with I daddy like issues. Those are the best ones. Those are the best ones. <laughs> I, like, I hear people say this, but I'm like, I'm 99% sure that if some fucking hot chick with big, a big titty goth were to come up to you with dyed blue fucking yeah. hair and a septum <laughs> ring, you would fucking lose your shit. You'd be like, hell yeah. There's no all fucking right. way. You there. No, no, no way no, no, you're no, shutting this girl down. If that happened to Michael, Michael would be like, um, you're bisexual. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. It did not, not happen. No, this is actually, it's a big problem. Um, you know, the dichotomy between wanting just like church going blonde, blue eyed GF versus trad GF versus uh, Doc Martin wearing. Yeah. You need a sick mullet, free. Like, like let's go. highlighted hair. Uh, you Asian. Know. Let's go. No. No. <laughs> Doc Martens. <laughs> yeah, Doc Martens. Asians too far. We see. I, I, yeah. I, I like Wait, Asian you guys hate Asians? I thought White Nationals love fucking Asians. Asians. What, what no, happened? No, no, what changed? Destiny, you're behind the times. Oh, Some God. people may be into Asians. It's about castizas now. Oh, okay. oh, no, oh, dude. Jesus. No. Yeah. No way. No, no yellow pill. Dude. No yellow pill. We no way. Yeah, yellow. yellow. Of course pill. yellow. Dude, your, your fucking castizas turn into like a fucking frumpy like goblin by the time they're 22. Okay. If they, we yeah, all if they know. don't exercise. We all know how they age. They age like horchata. Okay. They age like horchata and the baking sun. Okay. Uh, well, you see, well, you see, one of these days, Kai, you know, I've had the Asian e-girl arc. Nick's had the Asian e-girl arc. It's going to come for Kai eventually. Uh-uh. It's not real. You're going to no, have your no own chance. Kathy Zhu. No, I had Sun Milk. No chance. Nick, Nick has Kathy Zhu. It's coming. Miss me with the sundress bullshit. I just want a trad girl in a sundress. Yeah, no, that's so I want a free. Wait, so you guys I want a you guys, twisted free. You moved Same. off the trad girl yeah. stuff? Yeah, then we're thank you, Tom. Thank you. Let's go. You're welcome. Destiny, it's uh, basically Freud has just vindicated. Well, 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 I'm curious now. What, so what is the ideal AF woman? What does she look like? Well, that's very different from like, you know, my, well, I'm asexual. I'll just, let me just clarify <laughs> that at the outset. Uh, but as far as the ideal AF women, I just counter signal these hyper political, like trad sundress wearing. I think people like that are kind of basically insane. So it's just sort of like a normal girl who's a virgin is, is in my opinion, the sort of standard Okay. As opposed to these guys that are like, I need a girl who like has really good political right wing political opinions and wears a sundress and it's like that person is probably insane. The, yeah, yeah, no, no. Sam Hyde was literally vindicated on this. The girl with the uh, frilly sundress that reveals the bosom. Uh, there is a screw loose with these women universally. It's <laughs> it's, it's very true. What do you guys um, think? What do you think about mulatto women? What are you even talking about? This was gonna pull like, up like a chart <laughs> from like early America with like all the different race mixtures and gonna like just list the different names. What is that outdated? Am I not supposed to say that? Women. 
No, it's just I haven't heard that term used. In a I not, is that like racist? I'm I feel like it hasn't that. been it used fine. in so long; it has automatically become racist. Like yeah. even if it's even if it's not. <laughs> what about, our, what like, about our fellow? What about our Octoroon babes? Okay, let's talk about oh, Brittany right? Venti. Let me bring them back. Brittany Venti. She's like one fourth black. No, isn't Octoroon one eighth? I don't so know. No idea. I'm oct I guess I'm Octoroon. I'm part of. You know, part the black. more the more things go on, I just want a woman who just doesn't have a penis. <laughs> you know, that's, that's like the the standard. That's a lot to ask. That's a lot to ask. <laughs> yeah, these days. What um, okay. So so now you just want normal women. Why? Okay. So here's then the the big I, question. I don't. Why and... why why would a normal woman want an AFer? What does an AFer bring into the table? Uh, well, AFers are normal people. You'd be surprised. <laughs> you got <laughs> it's true. Nick and one. Hold on. I, I, like no, wait. Doesn't girl. doesn't the doesn't the divergent part of normal diver normal uh. What is it? Neural divergent? Uh, neurodivergent. Neurodivergent. Doesn't that kind of preclude being normal, or? Uh, Isn't well, that what no, divergent we're, we're, means? We're, see, we're normal presenting. We're normal presenting. Oh, okay. You know, gotcha. we are we are abnormal, but uh, certainly normal presenting. I'm going to a lot of weddings this summer. A lot of people I know are getting married to uh, normal individuals. Uh -huh. So, Nick, so. are you saying you're a freak in the sheets? I'm saying that I am not normal. Okay, there's a big, there's me, there's me, and then there's sort of everybody else. And you know, let's just, I'm sort of in a different category. So let's just, it's not even really worthwhile for that conversation. But aren't you, know. you supposed to be like the ideal AFer if the AF movement is kind of built around you? Shouldn't you be uh, what everybody strives? Or well, but to see, be. I'm sort of like on a higher, different frequency, I, I guess you could say, than everyone else. So, uh -huh. no, I'm sort of more like the twisted artist that inspires. Uh, but I would say I'm sort of a, a, you know, I'm a twisted individual. Uh, You're like Marilyn Manson, okay? You're sick. That's You're right. Yeah. There's something evil going on, yeah, but you I'm inspire like, the world. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. I'm like Kanye. I'm like uh, Stalin. Stalin. Yeah, that's right. That's you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm like I'm like Kanye. I'm like Hideaki Anno. You know. I'm, I'm Walt like, Disney. I'm like Lou Bloom. I'm like uh, Patrick Bateman. I'm I'm <laughs> ironic. I'm like Shinji Akari. You, you know who I saw yeah. back in Texas? Yeah. I uh, yeah. I hung out with Red Pill Jacob. And oh, yeah. um, this dude's over here, six foot three, like shredded, uh, like clean cut hair, great physiognomy. And it's like, yeah, I'm an incel. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. stolen like, valor, stolen valor. That's what I'm saying. I, I told him, I was like, I did the same thing as you. I claimed incel, but then I was, I was shunned. You know, he, ironically, he no. could he could be. I don't know how deep you guys are. You guys are still young, but as he's you get, not. He's not. As you get further There's... into this world of well, like wait. super attractive Instagram people, you would be surprised at how little fucking and how little like girl getting a lot of these like super hot dudes are. They have a ton well, of insecurity issues. I hope they're not getting any and, girls. Well, of course, married. obviously, yeah. It's like me. Obviously. Like I'm a real incel, you know. Well, how do you define incel? I'm an incel. Destiny? How do you define incel? Well, incel means involuntarily celibate. True. So, like in the in the definitions, like you really want a girl, but you just can't get one for whatever reason. You're not yeah, attractive. They're not. They yeah. Something happens. Yeah, you mm -hmm. just can't do it. Here's that's the thing, me, though. Yeah. For me, I think if if the thing that's precluding you from getting a woman is literally just you saying things that make you totally off putting to them, I don't mm -hmm. think that's incel. Because like you could tell a woman, I'm going to like assault you. I'm gonna. Well, that that they might be attracted <laughs> to that. You that, could yeah, tell, yeah, yeah they'd be like, they'd woman, count me in. <laughs> yeah, they would be like, yes, yes, yes. Um. But if you just say things that are just totally off-putting to women, and then you're like, "Oh, I'm incel," I, it doesn't really compute with me. I guess like the, the maybe this gets a little philosophical, but I kind of feel like that is what the majority of incels are, though. Um, I don't know where you stand. Actually, you seem like a body positivity kind of guy. I feel like every single person on the planet, save for some hideously deformed people, um, can be like a six or seven out of ten, as long as especially you like men. men, especially men, it's especially men. Yeah, yeah, especially men. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. just like make sure you have like an okay haircut, and you're you're not like looks neck now. Yeah, like, but, like but basic, not even maxing, just basic fucking human shit. And you can do okay. So I feel like most incels are like, kind of like, it's self-imposed, the inceldom, because they've either committed it to is, it. It is kind of like, sad Let's seeing go. that kind of post. Because uh, I, don't, I don't, like, honestly, I think with girls, like, guys will value looks a lot. But women, uh, as far as looks with a guy, like, they, like, They'll really undervalue that if you're like funny. Or, like, it's sexual it selection. That much. Thousand percent. You never see like a Kim Kardashian, Pete Davidson situation going the other way. You never see that. It's impossible. And sure, you can say like, oh, here's like a kind of attractive man with a like medium attractive woman. But you never see like the extreme opposite. It just doesn't happen. <clears throat> and that's because women and men select for different things. Men select for just the, the attractiveness of the woman physically. 
And of course there's other things, but that's the primary thing. And then women select for stability, um, social status, um, long-term like trustworthiness. Uh, humor is a big part of that. Whether somebody's just generally like socially fluent or charismatic, they select for a lot more because women have to have a partner who is going to provide them stability down the road. And if that partner's not able to do that, then women are going to move. Yeah. Yeah. This whole, uh, it's unfortunate. This whole like, uh, in cell culture, you know, a lot of the boards I used to browse on 4chan, like R9K. Okay. There's like oh, this obsession with like, oh yeah. There's like this obsession with like jaw lines and shit like that and like height. Um, but I mean, you know, outside of the internet and the real world, no one really cares. Three about millimeters of bone. Three millimeters. Yeah. Of yeah. <laughs> like, you got people, men like, on you got incel forums viewing. act like women are like men and they're not. Yeah. It's really strange. Yeah. Like, that obsession yeah. Well, over, well, yeah. well, that's another thing with it. People <laughs> video games with me. That's not what a girl does, dude. You don't understand what girls are. They're not dudes. <laughs> you can you just find some. Well, now, but also, have sex with a guy. This is why I like my liberal world order. Okay. I, there are girls like that and they're cool. Okay. We should make space for those types of people. All right. That are like what? Mer girls? For what? Game that are what world. you said? You oh, for are... girls that like to play games or care more about different things and or whatever, right? Or guys that care more about girls just are whatever. not gamers. Destiny girls really? will never be gamers. <laughs> they can be. Some of them can be. Nick, okay. Some. No I just want. I nah. just want Jim GF. I just want Jim GF to go to the home gym, the garage home gym. Mr. Medic or girlfriend, Jim GF. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Kai wants a boyfriend. Kai Damn. wants a Jim GF. Yeah, I usually take pictures of my. Uh, if she pictures of my wife, Kai. True. She's fucking wait, shredded, wait, dude. Wait. Holy fuck. Wait, nigga, are you anti tomboy? Oh, wait, wait. What did what did Destiny just say? Where where's Melina's uh fucking? Didn't she make a new Instagram account? My wife That's, is like. What if posted something on Instagram? Give me a second. I gotta <laughs> check this. <laughs> I gotta check this out. Nick, are you anti tomboy then? I'm no, I'm not anti tomboy. I'm anti gym girlfriend. Kai oh. wants a a like muscle. There you go. I gave her your. I do it's too. Like What's day. wrong with that? What's wrong it's with disgusting. That? That's disgusting. No, it's not. It's not. Muscles That's is not. a masculine attribute. Who is out there wanting a girl okay. with like a like a big frame and like? Well, I'm looking for two fuck? big, a little <laughs> muscles. Nice. Every, everybody always like they they always do this thing where they're like, oh, you want a girl who like takes care of herself and like exercise oh. sometimes so you want like the equivalent of like arnold schwarzenegger but a woman it's you like, follow no, muscle women... what, what's that instagram account <laughs> muscle <laughs> anime girl or whatever no, anime milkers yeah, let's do. go no. and peaks, they got banned rest in peace i mean oh. i mean i agree i agree that taking care of yourself is important but the, the way you define that is different you know the, the, the way that girls that i like take care of themselves is with adderall and coffee Jesus okay Christ. Uh, they, <laughs> no <laughs> more nice. No more of this working out. You need to starve yourself. I threw a link in the yeah, Discord chat. Okay. MFs are like, muscle girls are infertile if they take steroids, but everybody's under this impression that for a girl to like have any muscle at all, um, or for a girl to work out at all, she's going to get huge. Women literally can't get huge. And the only people who parrot this lie, this big lie, are people who don't work out themselves, and people who don't understand women are so disadvantaged in building muscle that in order for them to even look big like nick is saying i'm attracted to they would have to take steroids yeah but uh, even even women believe that lie though you know like a woman thinks like oh my god i went to the gym twice and i accidentally have like 32 inch arms now and it's like bro this is not, not how that bulky. works I, I did a bicep curl i'm gonna get so bulky yeah. no you're not it's not that easy sweetheart no yeah. And the, you but are, the, the, but the, the, the triple oh. ironic twist, though, is that once women actually start lifting and they do start to grow a little bit, all of them like it. There, I don't think there's yep. ever been a history in the, in, the, in the a single example in the history of all of women going to the gym who start to actually get big and can, like, carry groceries and not be a weak piece of shit who are like, oh, I don't like this. I want to go back to what it was like before where I can't put my bags in the fucking overhead bin or whatever. Like, yeah. You know. Well, and, and the, the biblical position on women is that they've always been, like, uh, physically capable of doing tasks around the house. Like, women used to work on farms. They used to take care of stuff, and they weren't, like, these frail beings. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I mean— uh, what, The Bible what, says we should have muscle GFs. What, is, what does Psalm say? It's like a woman who is, like, uh, who has strong hands, something True. That That's effect. a very urban take. That's a very urban youth take of you, Nick, you, to want a weak, frail girl. If you go out to any farms, yeah. these women are fucking— I'm not They're cleaning horse hooves out. They're, out. they're doing they're feeding the animals. They're— <laughs> Fucking doing all sorts I don't of want shit. a farmer wife. Oh I don't want God. a farmer wife with you want a woman. You want a woman with muscles. you want a woman with blue hair, the septum piercing, the crazy Twitter no, account. That's, that's what you're hair. looking that's for, me. Nick. That's me. I want I want sort of like a goth like character. You know, I want uh -huh. like a like a character individual as goth opposed to like some yeah. some like Slavic like 
farm maiden, like, you know, throwing <laughs> fucking bales of hay what, You stuff. guys lost your way, man. What happened to return to tradition? Some girl churning butter what with, happened? like, coarse, calloused hands. Jesus. It's not a farmer, Destiny. You misunderstand me. I'm, I'm anti-farm. I am pro-city. I, I want an alien. I want He's, sort of a oh <laughs> completely God, killer. He is farmer killer. That's right. I'm farmer killer. Your <laughs> ideal woman, she's already looking for a nanny to take care of the kids and everything, Nick. Jeez, you've just That's completely right. lost yeah. her way, man. Oh, my goodness. We, we, want, we want a goth princess. We do not want some sort of <laughs> farmer, some sort of pig shit farmer, <laughs> some chunky. <laughs> so me, Nick, and Tom are all based on the goth GF question, I take Dude, it. Fran right? I think Franson's on my side. He says 12-month-old huge baby is 30 pounds plus full diaper. I think, you know, Franson is with me on this. What are you talking about? The full diaper? <laughs> hey, what, are, what, what is this? This is disturbing. What does that yeah, even mean? Diaper gang now. It's like gang, diaper gang. That's freaking gross, dude. What? what <laughs> uh, you people have divorced yourselves from the reality of, of parenthood. Parenting. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he wants some chocolate breast milk, I think. So oh. To diaper That's gang, nice. suckle gang. <laughs> Dalton joins the, joins the call. Poo! <laughs> Why don't we have that yet? There should be like a pill your wife can take to make it chocolate flavored. Like that should be a simple. Yeah, thing. you three, yeah. like put a flavor packet in her. Food. Yeah, maybe, maybe like strawberry. <laughs> diet. Breast milk quality is dictated by the diet, so you could like probably just feed her chocolate. I mean, take her to the chocolate exactly river. like how that would work. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. No, that's that's true though, Destiny. The 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 quality of the breast milk is about the quality of the food, which is why we believe in ethically sourcing breast milk yeah. from our wives, whose diets Brass we can bread. control. 100% yeah. grass-fed. How do you, are you guys as strict on the male virginity side as you're on the female virginity it's side? Or absolutely. What? Yes, yeah. yes. Absolutely. No. Absolutely. Yes. No. Um, what? <laughs> um, it's, it's different if a man, you know. No. Well, it, it, it is. is. It is kind of it's different. Still, I, I it still think it's different. wrong. Because yeah, I was talking wrong. about this. I was talking about this, you know. The biggest red pill against, like, having premarital sex is, like, watching those, like, TV shows where it's, like, is he the father? That's like the biggest like red pill like against you know doing that because if you know if you if you don't have premarital sex you don't have that situation you know wow. you don't have to worry about that. Can't you? I mean, the way I see it, evolved yet to learn about the uh, contraception stuff or is that still like anti? You guys don't do that. <laughs> We're against that. <laughs> okay. Well, gotcha. yeah. The way <laughs> I see it, you know, if a guy has a lot of sex, he's cool, he's base, and if a girl That's does true. it, she's a hoe. Okay. True. I don't make That's the rules. Fucking That's just true. how it is. Not That's just how it is. true. Hey, sex is cringe. Hey, guess what? Guess what, sex havers? I could be like you any day of the week, but you can never be like me again. That's Over cringe. Reason. See, that's no, cringe, that's though. True. The Volcel thing is cringe. I prefer to it's say... You are. You're Volcel. Oh, I, I could have I, sex I, if I wanted to, I but I don't. Call myself I could never have sex. I was born innocent. <laughs> No, Jesus Christ! No, se sex is gay, Tom. You should not be having. What do you mean? Is, what do you mean? It's gay. Uh, it's all what, gay. Uh, it's all gay. All sex. What is, is the gay. point? What is the point of this freaky girlfriend you want? What, what are you going to do with her? Uh, like, like hang I'm, out? I'm an incel, remember? So this is just sort of theoretical. This well, is abstract. Okay, right? okay, okay, okay. This is all this is an abstract hey, conversation for me. It's a volsa. It's not an incel. This reminds me of an incel. No, gotta be semantically accurate. I'm a real incel. Yeah, but Did like I you're you're rich. So yeah, that's all. That's all women want. So you know, I'm you a, should I'm have a no rich issues. Incel. <laughs> all right. Really I, I like he's a rich cell. Yeah. Did right. I this, so. this was this was a qualm I had. Actually, Augie hasn't talked in like an hour. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I want to hear. What <laughs> no, 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 no. I was just saying. Like, I I saw this clip the other day of like Richard Spencer like defending Nick, but he like mm -hmm. quoted Nick saying like, "I'd rather have sex with like." Than like a re like a regular woman. Did you actually say that? Like, no, I never that like said that. <laughs> I heard that. I was I started laughing my ass off. Like I paused. I was like, what the? F I was not expecting that. Like, I never said that. No. On my show you years ago. From? On my show years ago, I used to make the joke and say like, hey, listen, times are tough. You know, women are crazy. Because there was the meme going around about our traps gay, and I said, well, they are gay. So, but you know, times are tough. But it was a joke, okay? a joke on my show years ago you know, if you want to know um, how old that joke was we don't even say trap anymore you know the proper yeah. term now is femboy so good job is that how it's very evolved? progressive i well, yeah I because nice job yeah well because oh, isn't like so trap not. like a swear or whatever isn't that like what they claimed a what like trap is a swear oh really yeah some of them that i've spoken Bro, to are fine with it they're fine with it it's all... my brother 
I've seen people call like Femboy a slur, so I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Somebody's gonna get offended. You know, they say they say it's in public, but behind closed doors, okay? Trap is all the rage. Turkey Tom used to have like a bunch of like trap like fan art contests back in the day. That's I didn't have a contest. People just drew me as a trap because they wanted me to. They wanted me to be feminine and shave my legs, I suppose. So. Just trying to groom you. You know, I am sponsored by Manscaped now, so you know anything's wow. possible these days. I'm gonna yeah, shave my cool. arms to look bigger, real. Turkey Tom is based. He gets it. He you know, the more it. and more this like lifting stuff carries on, it's like maybe this is just cognitive dissonance on my end. Maybe it's like you know, like shaving legs so that the leg gains look more pronounced. Do you shave you know, your legs? Oiling no, up your body for pictures. Legs, and, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, it is kind of fucked up, you know, as I've gotten older. I'm almost 20. I'm starting to look like a bit of a beast, you know. I have I have this body hair all over myself. It's uh, it's a little unnerving. I don't know what's going on, you know. You just started going through puberty. <laughs> you that... tell me about this. <laughs> I mean, basically, I'm I've, no, no, literally, I'm starting to get chest hair. It's kind of fucked up. Like I don't know what's I don't know what's happening exactly. <laughs> I've got know, no chest hair. Something very disturbing. Well, I mean, Kai's like there's like two types of zoomers. There's like Kai who looks older than he is, and then you got Do me, I? and I I look like I'm like 14 or whatever. And we're the same this, age. I don't. I don't think Kai looks that old. He kind of looks. I don't. Yeah, old. I don't think I he looks like old. he could be like twenty, like 21, 22. That's like a one, two year difference. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like three years. Be, I'm like three years behind. I look like I'm fifteen. You guys are. So, you you're, that was like the most teenager thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> like, oh yeah, like this guy looks like he could be way older. He looks like he could be twenty. <laughs> he looks like he might even be twenty one. He's only nineteen. Like, okay, dude. Well, Jesus I see. Christ. I, well, I mean, Dusty, what am I doing do on this fucking I panel? Oh my god. <laughs> am I a fucking pedophile for being here? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, if I was oh, going to groom bro. anybody for anything, it would be to join the omni liberal nation, okay? So I accept that. That's all good. Michael, I don't think you look that young, but maybe because I know so many like weird internet freaks who who like you know look uh, malnourished and underdeveloped. So I mean, um, you're, you're, I mean, you're weirder than me. You know, you browsed R9K. I mean, yeah, but that's cool in bass and twisting, know, which is cool. R nine K. It made me who I am. Why do you guys know so many people in my life that browse R nine K? R nine K and fit, dude. Maybe you're missing wait, out. Maybe wait, Kai, are you an R nine K person too? Uh, not really. I mean, right. I I can't claim that. I've browsed it a few times, but not like I'm not like a four chan head in general. I didn't what like a, grow up there. Uh, I I was using four yeah. chan. What about you, Nick? No, I'm not an R9K guy. I remember when that guy, uh, the only thing I remember is when that guy killed himself on there. You remember that? Ronnie McNutt? Uh, which one? The uh, one who shot himself with a shotgun. Yeah, Ronnie okay, McNutt. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only, that's the only time I remember that. Here. Yeah, there's a lot of twisted e-girl lore from R9K. Lots of, uh, you know, these yeah, women, they Evans. Well, I was not going to talk about her because she oh. got murdered. I was not going to yeah. discuss her, but I was going to discuss other, you know, these e-girls that browse the boards, you know, they stick in my head sometimes. They uh, they haunt me in my dreams, uh, in my daily life, you know. Uh, it's like they're calling me back to R9K, but I must resist. Must resist. <laughs> I don't know what this word says. Destiny, have you heard of Kleinfelter syndrome? Am I saying it right? Queen? I don't know how you yeah, say that. Yeah, Kleinfelter. How do you say it? How do you say it? Yeah, so Okay, I said it right. All right. I've mean? never seen that word. I don't know what it is. Well, you guys, sign, both of you know what it is, so it sounds like you guys know what it is. What is it? Kai or Nick? It's this uh, like condition Nick, that my former best friend uh, suffers from, two oh, yeah. X chromosomes. And oh, okay, chromosomes. I do know that condition. Uh, yeah, you basically have a total androgen insensitivity, so even though you have the male chromosomes, um, you basically completely and totally present as a female because you don't have the ability to process They actually present as a male. You actually present as like an above average height male. Wait, really? But you're, uh, yeah, yeah. Who is oh, this? I'm is thinking of what's the name of the it? one? There's one where you can be born with XY chromosomes, but you're, you are, you look at, for all intents and purposes, you look at a female because you have androgen insensitivity. It's, um, if you look up Kleinfelters, it's sort of like a baby face, above average male height, um, man boobs, no facial hair. Which of your former friends uh, is this? Uh, Judas, Judas McDonald. Oh, really? Yeah. Why did I think it was Simon? Klein's. Well, I'm thinking of yeah. Swear syndrome or something. Pretty Sorry, sad. Man. Okay. I didn't know he had that. Simon okay. doesn't look like that. Yeah. Simon doesn't. Well, I saw the one picture of him in like cat ears. Oh. And so I was I like, oh yeah, maybe that's. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't think Because he that. said he said former ex friend. Yeah. No, it's this other individual who uh, yeah, suffered from Klein's. We didn't know. We didn't know. 
uh, we probably would have been nicer to her. Ah, uh, <laughs> Jesus, you're really Come. not a bad blood here, huh? Know. Wow. We didn't know. I, I never know. knew. Jaden was super tall when I met him at AFPAC. He's, a, he's like a... Yeah, he's that's if you tall. look it up, that's one of the symptoms. Most oh, most Kleinfelters, they don't even know until they try to have kids and they're infertile. So I would, I would encourage her to go get a doctor's appointment and get uh, you know, right. a diagnosis. Uh, Do you think you guys could have a lot of that in your movie? If you guys are all vol cells or whatever, maybe you guys have more hidden I'm not a vol and you don't even know. Vol cells. You know? Yeah. Vol cells, no good. In cell. In cell. Yeah. Well, see, most fertility issues with men and women are, are very dietary. Um, so you can like really you can really clean it up um, by just eating different. No shot. Which, no, I, yeah, I, really. I bet I bet there's a lot of like issues related to like sperm motility and stuff. But when it comes to being actually infertile, that's got to be like disease or genetic oriented. Well, 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 like like issues with fertility, not so much. Yeah, yeah, infertile. Because yeah. there's some genetic stuff that causes infertility. Um, but like as regarding lactation and regarding just like fertility problems, um, most of the time it's a dietary thing or not most. I don't know if I can claim most of the time, but uh, there are plenty of cases where it can be fixed by just, you know, lifestyle changes. Sure, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, I got another question. I can't I'm not going to say the documentary they're referring to. I'm assuming Nick already knows what I'm getting at. Oh, but what uh, is your thoughts on a certain documentary that's like nine hours long, but a certain person? Oh. The greatest. That's, that's a the what? That's an old meme. Yeah. Well, thank I'm you gonna be freaks. honest. Those a lot of those. Um, what's the dog whistle word you're gonna use? A lot of those uh, special people that believe in special things. Those documentaries are really bad. They are. No, yeah. unironically, <laughs> like. Have you? Have you? Hold on. Have you guys? Of them. Have you seen this documentary that I'm talking about? Any idea? Bro. <laughs> What are you are you chewing with your mouth? Fuck, do you have any idea? Oh fuck. I don't know if I can I don't know if I ever want to say the name. Never mind, okay. There's, yeah, a lot of those documentaries are real. Don't I think say I, it. Don't I think say I know, it. I think I know the one you're talking about. You're you're unironically right. They're just bad. They're just <laughs> yeah, uh, they're just poorly made. And like half the documentary will just be like scrolling text made. like I'm watching the intro to fucking yeah. Star Wars. And I'm like, what the fuck am I watching here? This is garbage. Not <laughs> only poorly made though, like some of the stuff is just it's like, like schizophrenic. It's, yeah, it's like schizo. It's just not Yeah, it is, yeah. Or it'll be like the documentary will be like, they say that this many blah, blah, blah died, but they didn't. And it's like, okay. And then it'll be like the next chapter. Like, well, wait, what? oh, I thought, I, I'm trying to get radicalized here. You're not giving me much to work with, okay? Jesus Christ. It's like you'll be watching. It's like shit you would see in like the Evangelion openings. Like all this weird, like esoteric, like symbolism like coming on. You're like, what the fuck is this? Jesus. Destiny, uh, I sent one of your supporters an article about that by uh, Ron Oons. Oh, yeah? Uh, trying, to trying to wake him up a little bit, yeah. Uh, all right. Are you talking about Aiden? Uh, no. I don't I know who it was. It was on a Twitter no. space. It, it might have been. I don't remember his name. Yeah. Hey, Destiny, I emailed you my lifts. Can I have the flare in your chat now? Hey, I'll work on it, okay? Do you even have a name <laughs> in my chat? I do. I'm Kai Clips. Okay, well, I'm not, I'm not doing my emails right now. I'm, I'm playing V Rising, all right? Chill. Thing. Uh, three dollars. Nice to me. <laughs> three dollars. Salvo pancakes. Our guy, the first guest we ever had on this podcast. Nick Fuentes is the cutest man on the internet. Beautiful smile. Well, is this officially like a podcast? I didn't realize. I don't, we were, I don't uh, know. I, we we do this <laughs> once a month, where it's just us four. And then sometimes we bring on like Salvo, or this time we I guess, ended up with yeah. Destiny. Somehow we got Nick on here too. Very interesting cast. Very interesting cast. This I don't know how a we, great podcast. I support is. it. I don't know how we went from Salvo Pancakes to Destiny and Nick, but we we, we did it. Maybe she on head won't accept the invitation when it she, will it. she will not. She will not. She will not. Not happening. I got banned. That one pretty hard, dude. Like, well, at well, first I thought of, at I, first I, I thought it was like a, a joke, but like you bring no. it up all the time. You're like, dude, I thought you I had a chance. She, she followed me on Twitter. Justin Wang was liking my tweet. So you're saying her. there's a chance. You're saying there's a chance. Yeah, that is what I'm saying. And so then I sent one of my my mods who's like mutuals are on Twitter to like bug her and uh she's she, she kind of I don't know it's not gonna happen I just wait her. Destiny what do you think of Sean Head yeah what I is, fucking uh, hate he, he hates <laughs> oh my god I hate all of you fucking populists you guys have destroyed online political <laughs> discourse it's fucking Bruh. intolerable and she's like the worst example of it oh my god 
What do you hate about her, like, specifically, like, things she's done, or... She's just, she's very, very, very uninformed about everything, but she wants to give hot takes on everything, which I guess is kind of like a microcosm of our entire political situation in the United States, where everybody has yeah. to have a political take on every fucking thing. Like, you'll walk up to some random dude in fucking Oklahoma who's, like, walking on the street, like, what do you think about Leah Thomas? And it's like, holy shit, I don't even know who the fuck that is. Like, every, everybody has to have an opinion on every single fucking thing. Or, like, random people, like, do you think Ukraine or Russia is like, I don't fucking know. I couldn't find either of these countries on a fucking map. I don't even know what continent these things are in um yeah people are it's just super cringe and she was like that she'll like get on like somebody will tweet like today like farmers are protesting whatever and she'll just hop on and whatever her brain is feeling at the time like these guys are horrible because they're white or these guys are based because they're union workers and it's just like the dumbest shit ever like yes yeah, i think she also tries to be friends with everybody uh yeah i mean i don't necessarily think that's the worst it just depends on how you go about it but. i guess i just kind of i guess i just kind of see her as this like weird intersection of like East celeb with like political person and oftentimes that doesn't always work out because you know you're kind of trying to like play a popularity game a little bit um unfortunately yeah but i, mean, I don't know if she's uh, the worst is now it's just like because it's like the new hip thing so like every it, politics oh here you go here's the take politics mm. is today what nerd culture was like three or four years ago where when you were growing up being oh fuck you guys don't know this because right? you're kids i'm sorry when i was growing Bruh. up if you played video games you're a fucking loser okay that shit is like woman kryptonite when they see you with a fucking game boy or any of that shit you're the biggest fucking loser in the world um but nowadays well we're a little bit past that but like nerd culture became like really cool you had all these shows with like nerds and everybody's like oh i want to be a computer guy and now it's like politics is that thing right people that do politics are fucking weird they have been they still are but now everybody wants to be like a political person you got like linus tech tips and fucking ethan from H3H has, like, political podcasts and giving all these takes and shit. It's, like, it's fucking cringe. Well, I mean, H3 used to talk about politics, but it wasn't in the way it is now. Before, it was like, oh, look at Humongous. Oh, uh... This, his this political opinion... Crazy. I mean, his... It, that was, like, during the election, but his political yeah. opinion before, I feel like, was mostly just, like, anti, like, outrage culture. Yeah. Whatever, but, Which yeah. you can have, like, some light you know, social takes. That's fair. Like, I expect most people to have an opinion on, like, gay stuff. Like, gay issues. Or, like, I respect that, but... Um, two paths. You've got H3... And you've got John Tron, and we had to have both. We had to have both. Well, it's kind of funny. Back in the day, all those guys, like uh, from like the commentary sphere, like Leafy H3, um, you know, I guess Pyrocynical probably. They were all making videos like "fuck Buzzfeed" and you know "Buzzfeed cringe," and that was a big thing. And that kind of like was a big and part of the anti stuff. He's well, he always was. Yeah. He always was a furry. We just didn't know that he was, uh, you know, messaging people about inflation and whatever else, farts, farts, uh, some really disgusting things. But, um, and then kind of like today, like the cool political thing is like to be really left wing. So now that's what Ethan's doing, which is mm -hmm. disappointing, but it is what yeah. it is, I guess. I mean, I think wasn't Shuan had always like kind of left wing. Is she not like, really? She's, she's like friends with like right wingers or whatever. Wasn't that like her shtick? <laughs> Yeah, she made videos of Lauren Southern back in the day, or at least one of them I remember. Um, <laughs> I don't, th I don't think she was left wing. She was just like anti SJW. Yeah, that's that like was like centrist. Yeah, like I don't think she had like a serious and... political position. It was just like what she said in YouTube videos, basically. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. And then she also she dated. She this is a little sex, but she dated that um, armored skeptic guy, and it felt like they shared a lot of opinions. I'll say that. She did date him. I yeah, that guy. That guy unfollowed me on Twitter, and I had to block him. Okay, <laughs> fuck you, armor skeptic. Get shit on. Damn. Well, you see, Tom. At least you didn't lose your account. At least you didn't lose your account. At least you weren't punished like we were. Well, I, I did a long time ago for a terroristic threat. Um, <laughs> we're good now. I mean, yeah, the FBI came to your house. Ugh. So. And now, and now you're, you're another YouTuber. <laughs> now I'm at Quantico. Yeah, now yeah. I'm now I'm joining the FBI. Yeah, you know, real training to become. A oh, how they! Oh, how they grow up! Oh, exactly. how they grow up! Exactly. Okay, the chat's calling me scammers. I got like buzz through these real quick. Lauren Simpson wants in the panel. She's in Destiny's chat right now. Black Pill for three. I have no idea who that is. Who? What's her name? I don't know. Lauren uh, Soller. No, Lauren Simpson. 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 That's her real name. Is that Jewish uh, or something? Am I missing a fucking other? Well, 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 it is, but that also <laughs> oh, is that the Jew? Name. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't know. Just so happens. Beerson for five. Michael is so skinny he would have to sit on a girl's lap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Polish meal for three. I like him big. I like him chucky. It's all in the way she moves. What she do? Uh, fuck. There's so many of these. Kai's looking like Nick from Wish.com. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. It's so over for me. It's so over. Got fucking destroyed. I'm like you, but 19 with a mullet and a mustache. 
Obama yeah, pill. Kinda. <laughs> Obama pill for three. You should get Paul Town on this podcast. Me, Paul Town, Jimbo Zoomer, and Hunter Avalon were supposed to do a podcast like two months ago, and it just never happened. What's going on, Hunter? I tried still... to get him on so many shows, and he just doesn't do them anymore with me. I think he like doesn't like that I'm on Cozy or whatever. I want to debate him. I'll set it up. Yep. I'll host it, Hunter. We'll host I it. I'll debate um, him. Is YouTube he still doing Cozy? internet stuff? Or? Yeah, he is. Yeah, he, he came is. back. He took a big break for a week. Okay. <laughs> came back. I kind of feel... He, he returned on my show. That's that's lore. Really? Yeah, yeah. He wow. made the comeback on my Cozy stream. And then Dalton called in, and then they set up a debate, and then that also didn't happen. Okay, there's so okay. Like, we need to talk about this for a second, Michael. Something yeah. about fucking Hunter. I think we've talked about this with Kai before as well. He made this tweet, or his <laughs> wife did, claiming that uh, on YouTube in one calendar year he never made more than like thirty thousand dollars. I was like mind blown by that. Like what yeah. he was like, he was like huge. Like he he was getting way more attention than I than I'm you know that I get on YouTube and I'm making way more than thirty grand a year. I'm like mind blown that that's all he made. I have no idea how that worked out. That's impossible. Hold on, I'm looking at some of his views from a year ago. He was getting like two million views. A no, month. we'll get the tweet. I can uh, I can try to link it to you. Unless he just on. wasn't running this, ads or his channels demonetized or something. He absolutely. This was this was this was even back in like 2015 or 16 is when this yeah. analytics were from, and it said like 30 grand. I was like, what? What? How? Yeah. I feel like we talk about this every stream. I talked about with Medicare. I talked with you guys. I well, it's just disturbing me. It it's is. disturbing me. Okay. Maybe yeah, he just didn't. Like, maybe he was bad at putting ads in his videos or something. Or, maybe. I mean, I guess. But like, you think you you figure it out after being like a professional YouTuber? For oh a while. man, I don't know. Online content creators are. No, this isn't a toss at uh, Avalon. This is for everybody. It's, are just like have no mind for business or money or anything. It's actually unbelievable. But he was like an adult. Like, wasn't he? He was like eighteen when he was making something. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> you want to figure it Can out? You guys stop I know being, all the. Hunter Can you stop boy. being so young? Fuck. He was an adult. He was eighteen. Fuck all of you on this panel. I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I, for? I, I mean, the reason I say he's an adult is because like he had like you know he probably had bills to pay. Like he had reasons to like get money. How many I mean, bills do you have to pay at eighteen years old? What bills are you paying? I mean, you gotta like pay rent and shit. I'm you know how much gas is for my right phone now, to so I ween, for and I need to sometimes pay for my lunch <laughs> if what I is go that? out. Why are you I just retarded? You're McDonald's. doing a retard voice. My, my 2 a.m. McDonald's. You have a baby voice. I'm, oh, baby. I'm, I'm a 19 year old. I'm the little baby guy. That's, in fairness, I have like I have like no bills right now, but uh, when I move out, I'll have bills. Okay, we're we're on the way. We're on the way. Wait, are you guys all like okay? Since you guys are kind of younger, are you guys all like in college for shit, or what are you guys doing? Yeah, I never went to college. I'm in I college, dropped out. and I'm yeah, going. On, out. I'm going on my mission. I dropped out. I'm a streamer. Hey, Augie's still here. What the? I'm the only. Yeah, I'm, I'm the only I'm not school attending. Like, no. Destiny, yeah, didn't you didn't, didn't you drop out of music school or something? Yeah, well, because I was working, not because I got exiled for being a political extremist, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't get kicked out. I dropped out. Did you really? Oh, I thought you got. Jaden got out. kicked out. Jaden McNeil got kicked out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I dropped. You see, the the virgin college like dropout. You, Destiny. Oh. We're very similar in that regard. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Under six feet tall. Well, but were you a like, Destiny? Yeah, they, uh, or something. not a Destiny? Uh, you're StarCraft player, pro StarCraft player. True, and a music major in school. So. Yeah. 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 The virgin uh, college dropout versus the Chad never went to college. I decided John, I was going to become an e-celebrity. So John Doyle is a two-time community college dropout. That's his <laughs> two claim time. to fame. Two times. Well, I mean, I'm the only I'm the only guy going to school right now. Wow. What are you going to school for? Uh, I'm still kind of undecided. It was political science, but that's a stupid major. Um, but I'm really enjoying anthropology classes. Uh, so I might just become a primatologist. Okay, jeez, a prime That's freaking awesome. You're like, yeah, like, like a monkey guy. Yeah, like a monkey guy. A monkey guy. Okay, going I, to school I, for monkeys. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm majoring in monkey actually. Literally, <laughs> literally, I love it so much. <laughs> Um, that was my, I, I took primates last year and it was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, I, I don't want to go down like a law track. I was debating like a philosophy major. I didn't have much fun with econ, so I, I still don't know, but I do want to take philosophy classes. What do you want to do for like enjoyable. work? Have you thought about that? Or are you just like in school mode? Uh, I, I want to go into electoral politics, like take the commentating stuff and like the campus speaking stuff and uh, run for local office, like a precinct chair to start. And then uh, I'll Wouldn't see what else we can run for. Wouldn't like poli-sci or like pre-law or something wouldn't be good? For, that'd be good for something like pre that? Pre-law would be decent. I mm. wouldn't use it to become a lawyer. Um, yeah, poli-sci just, is just... Yeah, that political shit kind of under your belt. 
Yeah, the, the biggest the biggest thing that would help me would be just internships, right? Whether or not I'm doing like a political science major, it would be like the the connection of, of an internship. Because mm-hmm. um, nobody's going to be like, oh, does he have a political science major though? Because uh, it's kind of a useless major. It's kind of what you. Well, do it's not. I mean, like, if you're day. doing the, you're not working, are you? Yeah, I am. Oh, I do. Wow. I do streaming, and then I have another job as well. Not good. How, can you? I would recommend. <laughs> this is just as a guy that because I tell me to stop doing it. <laughs> yeah, I would. I, unironically, because I worked through school, and then I had to quit school because I was working too much. I think that there is a lot that you can get out of the college experience that has nothing to do with going to class. Um, and when you talk about things like poli sci degrees, like the like speeches that you can attend, the connections you can make through professors or classmates, like I think that's where the big value of a degree like that comes from. If you're going into political science, mm. but if you're like, I will say this. If you go to college and you go to class, then you go to work and then you go home and study, then that's your college experience. I think you're wasting a lot of what you could be getting out of that experience because it's so expensive and there's so much available to you on campus that, mm. yeah, you, you try to take advantage of it. I'm not telling you to yeah, like my fir- go broke my first and like year's be homeless. Been rough. But, yeah. Uh, well, not rough. It's just like it's been something I haven't committed to because I see all the stuff regarding like like the place I work. I'm a manager, so I'm like doing more stuff there. Mm -hmm. Um, And then like with streaming, I have made more connections and I've made more progress towards like my career path doing that and doing like um, speaking events than I have during college. So I was putting that kind of on the back burner and I got like A's and B's. um, So I'm I'm still like kind of cruising through it, but it was just totally not a priority for me. And I I hate being kind of like half hearted about it. The good thing is I'm not paying any money yet. Like I've got scholarships that are paying for everything but mm-hmm. um yeah it's uh, definitely something that i'm not very motivated by right now so who that's knows I, you have to find cool. you've got to find the extracurricular shit in college that's like where all the value is or a ton of the value otherwise you can just go mm-hmm. online and learn a lot of shit go to fucking wikipedia unironically and just start reading a bunch of shit um yeah the, if, you're, if you're like an a or b student i don't know where you went to high school like it's not like the work is hard right it's not yeah. like you're gonna be like hey, yeah i graduated with a poli sci degree like i'm big shit like I, like you said like nobody yeah. gives a fuck about that but it's more like what are the friends and connections you made along the way that like can synergize with everything you're trying to do mm. real true but it's like i don't know i feel like i'm getting all that the friends and connections outside doing the political stuff that i just have always been doing for fun and now i've just made that kind of that's true but at some point if you keep on that path you're going to come up a, a, a personal crossroads where you're either going to do really bad on an exam or you're going to be really stressed trying to fit like work streaming and school together and at some point there's going to be this thought that pops in your head you're like why the fuck am i going to school and then you're going to quit because you're gonna be like, I make more money and more connections doing streaming and all this shit. I've got my other job. If I need like reliable income, why the fuck am I in school? And I think that, and if you haven't like established yourself in your college, like doing things you can only get from college, you're just gonna quit because you're like, what the fuck is the point of this? That's, like, that's oh, yeah. like yeah. exactly what happened to me. I was going for journalism and uh, the social experience there. I mean, I had one, I had like one or two good friends, but everyone else I just didn't really fuck with. Mm-hmm. And the the courses themselves were like, it's shit I learned on YouTube when I was 14 years old. It's like how to use Photoshop, how to like format yeah. something in, in, in Microsoft Word. So it was just totally not like conducive to um, like, you know, any real learning. And if the things outside of that were good at school, I probably wouldn't be able to get past that. But it just the, the school was not that fun to be at. So uh, at the point that I like was making enough money to like say, fuck it. Uh, I like I like I remember I like drove home uh, and we had like this. It was like my grandma's birthday. And so I went there and everyone was like, how's school? And I was like, it's good. It's good. It's good. So uh, like right afterwards, I go home. And I'm like, yeah, I'm dropping out of school <laughs> uh, to my parents. And they were like, oh, you fucking asshole. You just spent the past hour, you know, because, because you know, when you're in school, that's what everyone asks about, right? Mm-hmm. At any family functions, like, how's college? When you're just 18, um, people ask you about that. Well, it's yeah. hard, too, because, like, when you're 18, you don't have any perspective of, like, what does it mean to not be in school? Like, what does that world even look like? Like, school gives you so much structure to build your life around that, mm-hmm. like, is it good? Even if school's going bad, it feels like it's good because it's just, like, it's something to do. But at yeah. some point when you branch out and you start learning more shit and doing more shit, there's going to be a point where you're like, why the fuck am I here? Like, do I actually need to be here? Because that's a question you, you don't have until you get to college. Because in high school, you have to be there. In grade school, you have to be there. But in college, mm-hmm. when you start working, doing other shit, eventually it's like, ah, oh, you know, I don't know if I, I don't know if this is for me, you know? Yeah, well, it's especially scary because, I mean, Destiny, I don't really know where you grew up, but I grew up in, like, like upper middle class, like, white New England, and, like, the expectation is you go to college, right? Of That's course, what everyone yeah. does. And so, and so if you don't go, um, or even the idea of not going is, You're like, a, a fucking terrifying... loser. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And so when I was in school, um, you know, part of the reason I was staying was just because, like, well, I guess this is just what I do. This is what everyone else does. Um, this is just, like, the path in life. And I think the only reason I had perspective outside of that is because in high school I worked jobs at, like, kitchens and stuff. Mm-hmm. And that kind of, you know, uh, those people weren't super happy working there. I'm not, I'm not going to you know beat around the bush about that. But it did illuminate me to the fact that, like, there are people who exist and survive without a college degree. Like, you, mm-hmm. like you, don't, you, you, don't, you don't need it. It's not a, a necessarily 
a, a prerequisite for happiness or success in, in anything. So that is true. Yeah. But I will say, if you talk to any person, this is just—I mean, obviously, you figure out your own path in life. But like, if you talk to any person who is above age twenty-five. Um, I've never found somebody that disagrees with this. Maybe they're out there. Maybe, I don't know if anybody's over 25 on this panel. Wait, how old are you, Nick? I'm 23. Okay, thank God. Um, don't you turn 24? Talk, you, okay, so if you're talking to me no. 24 and older, that's what I'll say. Um, they will always say the exact same thing, and that's, I wish I tried harder in high school and college. If you have the opportunity to study and get a degree, like that is something, like if you've got a degree, nobody can ever take that from you. It's an investment that you'll have for the rest of your life. Even when it seems fucking stupid, I bet at fucking Kai's job, there's going to be a point where he either gets passed over for promotion or somebody else gets promoted. And it's literally just because they have the fucking four year degree for some dumb shit like that. Like it always happens. Um, it's, it's, if you can do it and you can like grit through it, like it is nice to have that under your belt. But I mean, obviously, That's, there are also different paths. Yeah, paths it, people, it, it probably is. I guess I just kind of was like, um, I don't know if you know anything about me, but I've like I do YouTube for a living. Mm -hmm. I mean, I basically like uh, when I was in school, um, you know, and I, I started going through the motions of like talking to people who were like actually working in the industry and stuff. Um, none of them, you know, in, in journalism, big surprise, like people in that industry are not really making money um, apart from, you know, maybe the people you see on TV, like pundits in general, people who are journalists, uh, even producers on like TV shows or whatever. They're just not making a lot of money. Yeah. And I kind of foresaw my future and I was like, OK, so either it. Either I can like pursue this YouTube thing, which is working out right now, making money from it, mm -hmm. um, and, and and I like it. I genuinely, you know, I enjoy it. I'm passionate about it. Or I can, you know, do the thing that I'm supposed to do for less money, and 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 at the end of the day, I'm still working for someone else. And so I think that's the decision that a lot of uh, people are going to come down to when they're, you know, doing this online content creation thing and then going to school. Um, so ultimately, I, you know, I'm happy with the decision. It is definitely to this day. I still think it's a little, you know, am I missing out on that social experience? You know, everyone else my age is going to go to college and uh, maybe I'm missing out a little bit on that, but Obama. ultimately the, the decision itself, I'm glad. I yeah. Did. The okay. first day I ever had of in-person school, um, cause that was the sucky thing. My first semester in college, um, I only had one class that was on campus and this last semester, all my classes were in the same like department. They were in the same area. Yeah. Um, and so the first day of the, of the only class I had in person that semester, which only met on Fridays, um, there was a guy who recognized me from TikTok and then tweeted about me after class saying he, he happened to sit next to me. This guy had like 200,000 Twitter followers too. Um, he tweeted out saying like, I just like, I'm, I'm next to Kai, this proto fascist. In oh my, my God. In my class. So that was my college experience. The idea of going to class now though, like the idea of waking up and going to class, like I think I'd rather kill myself. I actually liked it. I don't know. There's something I think about it I liked. Some people talk about, especially in America, people talk about like, oh, I'm going to take like one year off or whatever. I want to take a break or whatever. In my opinion, and I, I hear this echoed a lot. If you are going to do college, you should just do it right after high school. Don't take a year off because once you've gotten out of the swing of going to school, it's really hard to want to go back yeah like, yeah for fuck sure that. especially for me because like i can like wake up whenever i want like make my mm -hmm. own schedule like now if i had to go back to like waking up at like 7 a.m for uh like intro to whatever the fuck like i think like i, I think i would unironically be like staring down a gun like i would not <laughs> yeah. be able to do that i cannot live with that shit no yeah. way you see i just hated school in general and i decided i wanted to become a, a video ses on youtube so that's what I'm doing. Yeah, well, you're lucky. Your parents were fine with that. My parents were not. We're not oh. okay with that. <laughs> Wait, your yeah. parents were cool with that? They're like, oh, good luck with YouTube, son. Yeah. Well, I started doing like professional video editing for like major YouTubers and getting a lot of views when I was like 15. Like, I think I wasn't even done with my freshman year of high school yet. Huh. So okay. my, my parents weren't cool with it until they realized that I actually made money. Like, I think they thought it was like a meme at first, but then when they actually saw it, they were like, oh. Okay, never mind. I hear Whatever. that a lot, that when people are able to bring home their first paycheck, all of a sudden the parents' tune changes dramatically in terms of what they're Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. My, my mom well, my grew parents up in, were the, never uh, like... in the DDR, so she doesn't think this is like real work mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. and, and still is kind of, she's upset at how much money I make. Because uh, it's, well, I mean, I'm not making reinforcing like, like a bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, she's like, you're not even doing work. Uh -huh. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? It's a yeah, lot my, of work honestly, uh, honestly, my par yeah. my parents scoffed at it until I think the first month that I made like over ten grand. They they were actually impressed, but but, but before that, they were like, "It's shit, mm -hmm. it's nothing. You're doing nothing." And they were like, "You know, you have some extra pocket change." It's like, like I remember when I was making like four or five grand a month. They were like, "Are you gonna get a summer job?" I was like, "No, oh, why would geez, I get a summer yeah. job, motherfucker, <laughs> to make an extra like one thousand dollars a month washing dishes?" No, no way. What? Did, how do? Uh, wait, how do you? <laughs> I've never heard this. Before. How do your parents feel about everything you do, Nick? Uh, they support it. You know, I mean, initially they didn't, um, cause I, I did one year in school 
And then I came home and I told them I was dropping out and they got mad and they were like, listen, you know, are you your parents do like, something. Are they really conservative? Or do they like support like your political mission and movement and everything? Or do they just like not think about it or what? They're conservative. They're not as conservative as me. Um, and when I came home from school, they were like, we can't believe like what you believe now, blah, blah, blah. Um, and over time, I kind of like now they're OK with it they're, I wouldn't say they agree with me on everything, but I kind of red pilled them a little bit. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, so they're they're supportive. Yeah, they're, they're generally supportive of my streaming career as well as my political mission. But they're they're boomers. My parents are baby boomers. So Same. they're just like normies. They don't their conservatism is very different from mine. Like my parents think that, like, you know, the Illinois state government is mismanaged, you know, <laughs> like true, that's a level of, which is true. Absolutely based. But, OK, which is absolutely true. But that's the extent of it, really. Do your parents like watch Fox News? Is it like that kind of? Uh, not really. My, my they watch the local evening news. You know, they're like really? they're like that boomer. Mm. See, my dad, I don't think really knows like what I do because he didn't even know like AFPAC was political until we were already driving down. Uh, I didn't know it was like a political. Event. What'd you tell him? We're gonna go talk about like Nintendo Switch games or what the? Fuck was that? <laughs> I just told him we're going to an event. I think he thought it was like VidCon, or, like PAX East. <laughs> yeah. He thought it was something like that. I mean, it's kind of like VidCon. Back. It's like VidCon, but racist. You think, yeah, <laughs> I, would, I, would, maybe. I don't use that word, but all right. What uh, word would you use, Michael? Tribalistic. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Tribalistic. That's a good one. Oh my god, we're so behind on the super chats. Everyone's calling me a scammer. Nice, good. Uh, Ethan Ralph mail. I single handedly destroyed your live chat. Everyone's going insane. I will Ethan Ralph for Ethan Ralph. Is Lauren Southern's last name really Simonson, or is it just a meme? That's a real last name. Real last name. Torba twenty twenty four Destiny. Why are you not on Gab? In those chest hairs, and without those chest hair, have superpowers. I don't know what he's trying to get at there. But why aren't you on Gab? Well, because when you make a platform that is just for people who are banned from other platforms, those platforms tend to be fucking deranged. <laughs> okay. True. It is deranged on Gab. That's, like that's the, kind of what I like about it. Yeah, that's kind of the issue from a business perspective. That's the issue that every like alternative media platform is like having right now is like people don't want to just be like, I don't want to just be where people come to because they got banned from other places. It's like a really difficult thing that everybody's wrestling with. But mm. that seems to be anytime somebody starts like, um, like I'm doing promotions for like these minds people now, like they're trying to get away from that. Odyssey tries to get away from that. Um, yeah, everybody just tries to not be the place where all the banned people go because it kind of sucks. But I think Cozy is like the only like alt tech platform that's like really good. It's not just because I'm biased because like I'm on it. But it just <laughs> it works good. It, it looks good. The content on it is mostly good. Yeah, but you need yeah. if you're trying to do that. What's um, the mostly? Who's the exception there? I don't know. You got. You guys <laughs> have to clipped. do the, uh, the. You need to do the Russian strategy where you get like you have to get some sincere people. I get maybe that was my role. Uh, you have to get some people that are like political opposition to make the platform look more like less of a <laughs> Nazi. Yeah, when are you streaming on Cozy <laughs> Destiny? When's yeah, your we'll first see. I'm just waiting for the waiting for the dust to settle from your guys' current uh, dramatic bouts. You know. Well, we'll hold you to that. We want to see the Destiny uh -huh. yeah, stream. I know you do. I know you do. When I come to visit you, let's do a stream <laughs> on Cozy. Oh, yeah? Are you going to come? Uh, if, if you're going to come visit me now, you're going to have to be a good swimmer because we're having like a tropical storm for like, the next fucking five days here in Miami. A what? We're, there's like a tropical storm. It's like flooded outside. Like everything is flooded. Oh, out. okay. Yeah. No, I'll be I'll be down there uh, towards the end of the month. Uh -huh. Ooh, really? I might be out of town, yeah. but we'll see. I got a lot of shit going on. Oh. Is this what you were referring to on the stream we did, Nick? Is this mm -hmm. the trip you're referring uh -oh. to? I'm going to be in no. New York City, I think, no. on the 25th, and then Austin, like, 26th, 27th. I think I'll be in L.A. on, like, the 23rd, 24th. Like, yeah, I got a lot of shit coming up. All right, I'll get down there before then. Yeah, okay. I'll hang out. Based. Uh, Nick Valentis is all for five. Is Turkey Tom's bussy tight? Thank you for the great question. Extremely, extremely. Thank extremely. you. Extremely. Eagle baby for Horrible. three. Kai, you are too small to be seeing you lift every five minutes. Anonymous for three. That's, Kai, that's real. No, that's real. I literally just want either people to start doing it or for lifters to like rag on me so more people see lifting. I've said that before. <laughs> I'm actually not that. I'm not that big. When people see me in real life, they're surprised. I think I think it's impressive. Well, thank you. I, I didn't train hypertrophy. That's part of the reason that I'm not as big. Like my lifts are, are pretty decent, um, but uh, 
yeah, I'm just not that big because I didn't train hypertrophy. But I'm doing it now, and I'm seeing some big progress. So. I think it also depends on the ti- like what your goal is too. Because if you're doing, I'm, I haven't watched your email yet, but if you're sending me that you're spending a lot of time training like squats and deadlifts, like these aren't lifts that make you look aesthetically nice, you know? Unless you're, deadlifts do actually, I and don't, squats I, too. I, you don't well, you don't like compounds for hypertrophy? Well, no, no. I'm I'm just saying that like uh, going into the real world, nobody honestly outside of gym bros, nobody gives a fuck what your quads look like, right? And you can go to the gym and you can see dudes, and I see this shit all the time. People look like fucking skeleton stick people, and they'll walk up and they'll pull four plates like it's nothing. Like, I don't know how, but like, so it seems like, but then you'll see guys that'll go and do like 52 different like incline bench, like decline bench, 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 pec flies, and do those shit. And then they have like these really nice like upper bodies and arms and shit. So I think think it depends Mm -hmm. on like what your goal is when you're lifting, right? How you wanna look. True. Real. Uh, mm-hmm. Anonymous for three. Kai wants a Bronze Age She-Hulk. Nick is never wrong. Polish male for three. Incel dumb is a real real estate issue. House prices are at an all-time high, so young men are living with their parents later and aren't getting GFs or wives. House expensive? True? No way! <laughs> How do you guys feel about uh, public transport and zoning here? Where Where is AF out on that? Public transport? Can I I'm move you guys on that position? We just got to get all these bums off the fucking public transit. This, you know, you understand that so much of like urban planning is sabotaged by. Uh, Fuck! I so that so that stereotype that people Democrats. say Democrats is, is actually true. You guys don't like public transit just because poor people ride it. Is that actually the case? <laughs> Yes. Fuck. Yeah. Well, That's it's, not, so it's depressing. not poor people. It's not poor people. It's these like abominable, predatory uh, bums. It's okay. dangerous. Interesting. Because you know, poor people can ride it all day long, but uh, <laughs> the problem is that they start, uh, you know, killing Chinese people in New York. And do you want to help? Is it really bums? that much may, violence uh, is happening on public reason. transit? Is it really that big I mean, of a deal? Do you want to tell yeah. the story, Nick? Why do you keep? Can you just stop saying that every time? You want to tell the story, Nick? You want to tell that story? What the fuck? You said the red line story. Yeah, the red line story. I got attacked on the red line in Boston once, and uh, yeah, public transit. I mean, I've ridden public transit all over in Chicago and D.C. and Boston and New York. It is what it is. But like, let's we can't pretend that there's not a real public safety hazard on the public. I support public transit, but um, you know, sometimes it's not safe. And that's because you've got these sort of walking uh, hazards going on. I mean, I feel like for the most part, as long as you stick to yourself, people do their own shit. But I don't know. I think we should do bicycles like Amsterdam. No, I hate bicycles. Unironically, like you talk about like how many issues exist in the United States with people that are overweight, people that don't exercise enough. Like biking around everywhere has got to be like really fucking good for you. Um, Yeah. And you go to places like... Oh, maybe. Yeah. Well, no, that wouldn't be enough to get Americans in the gym, but <laughs> it wouldn't then be. You know, them. then force them. Yeah, force them. True. I think we should we should go Bloomberg pill, and we should just ban big gulps. We should ban like the really big sodas. <laughs> no and people way. say people say all the time, but then they'll just buy two sodas. Nobody has ever done that, dude. Nobody <laughs> has ever bought two of those drinks. It doesn't. Like that is true. I will say it's really funny when you go to any place in Europe and you're like, can I get like a medium drink or whatever? And you have like a sippy cup. They give you the small, and then you can, and I'll like have any European with me or my wife when we're in America. We go to Arby's. Like, can I get like a medium? And it's like, <sighs> like it's fucking ninety two ounce fucking drink. She's like, what the fuck did I? get like the extra 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 large like jesus christ yep ask really? destiny af- about oh no oh shit to- someone else in my chat yeah. is pointing out P- americans have actually ruined bikes because now they have fucking electric bikes that's true <laughs> <laughs> so now you're not even fucking biking you're on a basic a mini motorcycle scooter thing jesus I just hate I just hate cyclists because it's like they want to act like they're a car in the middle of the street and then they don't follow tra- follow traffic laws mm. and then they go like five miles an hour just use the fucking sidewalk. That is like, true, but yeah, I, I, I oh god, I hate I love cars. Okay, I'll be honest about that. So I hate yeah, that I'm defending cars. cyclists here. Um, but like America is not built for motor for uh, bicycles. If you True. go to places in Europe, you can go to like Copenhagen. They've got whole yep. roads, and you'll see thousands of people on bikes like in two seconds. So many, and you just like imagine like how many less cars it is on the road. How healthy these people are that they're biking everywhere. There's like a, like fewer. How many fewer cars? <sighs> Many fewer. Oh, thank you, Nick. Jesus, you got me okay. there. Okay. Wow. Well, AF. Okay. Well, okay. if you're not a Nazi now, you can still yeah. be a grammar Nazi. At How least. about a grammar okay. Nazi? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, Jesus oh, Christ! I'm about to get thrown in a camp for re-education. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Grammar camp. Yeah. Time to die. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, no, you're Christ. right. I, I with you. You're up. You're am I gonna right. Be able to, am I going to be able to break out of the? Am I going to be able to break out of the grammar camp? Do you guys use wooden doors on those classrooms, or is it? <laughs> oh, right. yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just curious. I don't want to know how trapped I'm going to be in there. Okay? <laughs> how am I hosting Jesus. a stream and Nick isn't saying like the most out there shit? Yeah, that's so true. That's impressive. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so I know it was super the Destiny's the real. He's the real threat. <laughs> he is. Yeah, true. I think but Destiny. Yeah, I think yeah. Destiny brings out these comments. His uh, his power. You know, being around just it makes everyone a little more. A little more Nazi. You know. Yeah. For me and Destiny, <laughs> like I wouldn't. Guy see, I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that far. Uh, yeah. Ask Destiny about him saying he casually dated Lauren Southern. Hmm. Uh, I think they're mixing up uh, crazy people on my screen, but I have an explicit policy for the person that they are referencing that I cannot, I don't bring that person up anymore. Okay. Wait, wait. I is don't it know. Anna? Is it Anna? I can't. I can't say. I just can't say. Okay. I if it, if say. it is, she she's featured in the in the YouTube upload, and it's pretty funny. We asked her about you and the relationship. We did a psych uh, deep dive. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, that's. I just I can't talk about it unfortunately because it's a uh, policy it. on my yeah stream. So, but. Media blackout. Media blackout. Media blackout. That is what we call it. Yeah. Uh, LMAO. Day one into Nick's wedding with Kathy. Right, what is this? What is this fan fiction? I'm not reading that for three dollars. Uh, anonymous for three. Kai thoughts on starting a breast milk delivery service. Uh, yeah, that's kind of base. We want like breast milk banks so that you know women who have lactation issues can get it. We just need to make sure it's like ethically sourced and that it's high quality um, i mean women yeah. already pump their milk if you're if you're a woman and you mm -hmm. have kids you're already pumping so yeah the stock is there you know you just gotta we just want to make donating it more possible there you go because some women overproduce yeah true which i do. don't think happens but yeah i mean well i, I, mean, I have wouldn't a be overproduction with you there right yeah of course. Well, yeah, yeah well see yeah that's the thing is i don't think you can overproduce it but Kai, what is this like month month long like obsession with breast milk? You've never drank in it once. MF is always think everything's a bit. That's the problem. MF is be like, why why have you been doing this? Well, no, I'm not saying months? it's a bit. I'm not saying it's a it's bit. Not a like, bit. like how it's how are you gonna how are you gonna show it for so long and then you just you just don't do it? Big things, big things coming up. That's big all I'll say. That's all I'll say. Maybe if uh, maybe if bikes become a big thing in the United States, uh, you know, in our neo European future, we can have breast milk delivery to your house. It's gonna be it's gonna be a dude on a bike. He's got a bell. He's got the jugs like from the fifties, like the stylized milk. Exactly. Yeah. It can be the moms on the bike delivering their own breast milk. Help them overcome postpartum depression. Help them lose any baby weight they had on. Help Holy them strengthen their shit. pelvic floor. Like now we're talking. Yeah, yeah, Jesus. Destiny, do you know about this red pill? Women who exercise recover from uh, pregnancy. Yeah, stronger quicker. pelvic floor. It helps you with the yep. whole delivery process and keeping everything nice. And yeah, of course. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Mm. Literally, all my positions are just like so <laughs> pro family. I'm just so pro family. What can I say, man? Uh, Dad Pip for three. Nick does have a type, and everyone knows it. Here's Nick thought process when he sees a girl. A cup check, flat ass check, skin yellow. Yeah, I'm thinking we're back. <laughs> <laughs> All wait, right. so why don't okay, wait, okay, catch me up on the new on the new lore. Why don't you guys like Asian women anymore? What happened? To we that? do. Uh, we what do. are you talking Asian. about? <laughs> me and Nick have like Asian e girl lore. Oh, so it's like, okay, all right. Okay. I yeah, just like, just I was just never into Asians. Can I just say that, like, if you guys would have, and I know you are trying to do the incel thing, but if you guys would just introduce some women into your drama, it would just be so much better. It would just be so. No, juicy. it would be oh, so much like, worse. God, it would be so introduce, be... Women, introduce women into drama. Oh but, like, my, uh, get God. drama after the women are introduced. That's yeah. so good. Yeah. I want to see the it. like Nick's GF slept with fucking Kai or some crazy shit. Like, well, I want to see like that. Uh, I want to see the uh, crazy drama going anybody. on God, i wouldn't have be... sex with anybody nick wouldn't have a gf and <sighs> there is also there is also kind of that lore with certain people within like the af sphere mm -hmm. um so if you're looking for it you'll find it okay, okay um but yeah i mean like notably isn't that like the thing with ralph isn't there like woman stuff with ralph there's so there's too many if, <laughs> if we could if, if they, we could there is any stuff with ralph you're always gonna find any type of drama like whatever you name it's probably there God, I respect uh, the fuck out of that guy. As much as he's an insane person, that dude just never stops. He's like a tank. Okay, not I like the agree. Russian ones that are getting <laughs> fucked in he's Ukraine all the time, but like an actual, male. like an Ralph actual Ralph tank that not he's unstoppable. Yeah, yeah. For real. Augie and Worski were talking about this because you know Augie's been like quiet for like the last two hours. Him and Worski okay. were talking about how like. <laughs> You know, you guys don't like Ralph, but it's like you have like a weird, like twisted respect for like what he does. And you have to. You have to. Yeah. Even if you hate him, you have to have a respect for him. This guy gets his ass beat in Portugal, and like two days later, he's still like doing podcasts. Like this guy is a monster, <laughs> dude. Holy shit. He goes to Portugal, he gets beat up two times, and he's still going. You know, he just doesn't know how to quit. Ralph a male. Ralph a male.
That's what I like about him. I mean, that's people are always like, "Why are you hanging out with Ethan Ralph?" It's like no matter how many times he gets knocked down, he always gets back up. He does. <laughs> I think. I think. Augie or he'll just stream from the ground. You know, day. fuck it. He has. Yeah, just fuck. Yeah, it. on the podcast last thing you're talking about Ralph, right? Well, not not just on the podcast. I think yeah. I think yesterday we we just had a DM conversation about how you know he's got a work ethic. He's streaming like ten hours a day. <laughs> Uh, he has no chill. He's well. Where the fuck is Augie? By the way, you're just being silent this whole thing. I'm. I mean, I'm just listening. I mean, yeah. I mean, the guy I'm definitely works. Listening. You know, it's um, it's kind of similar to I noticed like Hassan. Like as terrible as that guy is, I mean, he also streams for like 12 hours a day. So it's like, well, and Destiny does that too. So I don't know. I can't do it for that long. I'd go insane. The dark triad of evil. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The world's gone mad for three. Ask Destiny if Nick's strategy with not dealing with a girlfriend till he's older is better for his goals rather than dealing with fake allegations that Destiny goes for. Oh, when I gotta tell you guys things just for content, I just think it'd be funny as fuck. It wouldn't be like effective yeah. for your lives or anything. I just think it'd be really funny. Uh, Ethan Ralph Mail. I single. I already read that one. I feel bad for the YouTube super chatters. I've like not read them like at all. Like pretty backed up. Mike the bike for three. You're thinking of the time when this is so old when Bunty. Was defending someone anti-Semitic against Destiny. All right, um, that he yeah. fought against me because I hate Bunty. So yeah, I don't know the Bunty lore. I think that was like a little bit before my time, or maybe I just didn't pay attention to him. I don't know. Harry White Row for two British pounds. Uh, he, it, the the emojis aren't loading. Uh, it's like two European countries. It's flat terrain, so cycling is easy. A uh, gym to grapple for five. Nick would be into Augie like he's all okay. Wait, whoever said that? Don't know. That was a massive cope. You can have in some um, in some countries they'll have like little like bike things like up really big hills where you can just attach your bike to the thing and it'll take it to the top. But there's like a massive hill that's like wait that exists. Yeah, and then also where like, does that exist? Like, um, that sounds awesome. I don't even know where I've seen it before, but I've seen these things before. That's um, awesome. And you can like have like nice bikes that have gears and shit. You can go up hills and stuff. It's not impossible. Yeah. What an American mm. fucking dono. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Literally God for two. Are neoliberals considered right wing for the boys? What do you think? Not at all. Uh, uh, I mean, if you ask left wing people, neoliberals are basically fascists. But I, I feel like right now where the like, internet culture is and everything, um, and even I guess like worldwide, I feel like neoliberal is kind of like a center, center left thing. But mm. Awesome. Really? Reminder to the YouTube audience, we have... The membership's enable. You know, I see Augie showing this. I want to see a lot of green names in chat. I'm going to start streaming a little bit more onto YouTube occasionally. Got for it. these bigger streams. I'm, I'm primarily focusing on Cozy, though. I don't like having to worry if Susan's going to come down on me. I like the anxiety. Yeah. It, like, lifts. Is there anything else you guys want to talk about? We've been here for, like, three hours. Uh, no. I don't think so. I got it all. the gym. All right. Well, one more super chat from Wooza. I think if we have to abide by TOS for you for Destiny's YouTube stream, then he at least can at least he can stop using the Lord's name in vain. I agree, <laughs> Destiny. I agree. Uh, so I can't say God damn it. I can just say damn it. I yeah. guess. Yeah. yeah. I'm just wow. going through. And my... actually, darn it would even be preferable. Than yeah. That. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, people people don't agree about the swearing thing. I'm trying to pioneer that. I'm trying to pioneer clean language. It's a, it's a tough thing. Wow. I'm really, I'm fighting against the tide. I've got suckle gang. I've got lifting. I've got uh, the incel counter signaling. I, I'm really fighting against the tide. I don't like Asian women. You know, Bro, I'm, really, okay, I'm really out of touch. touch. I'm out of touch. That you know, sounds good. All right. Well, I only have one more thing written down that I prepared that we never got to. Uh, do you guys want to talk about the tipster lore? Uh, I don't know anything about why. <laughs> why? What is tipster? What is that? Tipster he's, is like <laughs> he's just fat online. That's all you need to know, really. He's like this big drama YouTuber, and he's uh, a big drama YouTuber. <laughs> and like a day before, like he got exposed for like I guess like messaging like goth women or whatever. Uh, so that's like all... Are you not supposed to message goth women or what? He's just like me. For me. Yes, okay, my, like... Michael's doing a terrible job of explaining. Okay, okay. He's he's a married guy, and oh, basically, okay. yeah, well, he was now. he was messaging all these girls, like, and he he'd do this thing where he'd like he'd be like, "Nice tits," just kidding, 
So he did, he did that like a hundred <laughs> Just kidding. Times Wouldn't it be funny if you sucked my dick, but not really? Like that kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, like, exactly, exactly. It's that kind of shit. We, <laughs> we suspect there may be more behind the scenes we don't know about, but that's basically the whole story. Michael, why do you keep, why do you keep bringing up these random, you know, Well, no, 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 because that, America First is tied to this because so if, there's a bunch of these fake tipster Twitter accounts and one of them did this like fake Twitter space press conference when they they were announcing they were going to come to Cozy and join America First yeah. <laughs> because he like hated his wife or whatever. And then Baked Alaska was like trying to it's join real. the space. So I tried to talk to him to ask him <laughs> why he hated his wife because he didn't know it was a fake tipster. And my tipster was like, Maldon well, we certainly it. look forward to tipsters uh, America First career. I, Dude, I had funny. no idea. We almost got a baked Alaska tipster debate. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's it's funny how Michael like set that up. And now let's bring up the thing that everybody's been wanting to talk about on this stream: the tipster, the tipster drama. Thank God, tip. can't stop the tip. True, can't trip the tip. So true. Are you guys? Uh, you guys are baked Alaska friends, right? He's an AF -er dude. Or... Oh, yeah. Yeah, huge bait to last. I had him on my stream a few days ago. Had an interview. It was a nice conversation. He's an interesting guy. Big Love drama. you. Yeah, I miss his IRL streams. I miss that shit. Yeah, it was good content. His yeah. Dark Souls saga has been pretty uh, inspirational, though. I could never get through him. The World Star Plus Dark Souls saga. Real. Yeah, because he like, watches like World Star videos in between. Everyone's shitting on Augie, saying he's too quiet. Yeah. Do you want to like wrap this up, Augie? Everybody, like glass water. Yeah, what the fuck, <laughs> Augie? What's going on? Yeah, come on, Augie. Dude, it's I'm just gonna Augie. shit on. Bro, I had like no fucking sleep last night. I'm like struggling to keep my eyes open right now. Well, but... Augie, when did you know this sh show was gonna happen? Why didn't you fucking sleep? Why didn't you prepare for uh, it? Dude, I. He knew this. I just, like, didn't give a fuck. A week. <laughs> just say you didn't give a. Don't say you didn't sleep. Say I didn't give a fuck about the show today. Be honest. At least. <laughs> right? Yeah. Just be honest. Fuck you, Michael. Piece of shit. Go back, yeah, but go, go back to crying about medic to medic or about me on Twitter. Ooh, oh, yeah. damn. Damn. Yeah, damn. 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 Shots fired. Shots fired. No, I'm just kidding. Dang. I love Bobby. I'm excited. Smoke. I'm excited for our IRL stream in Boston in like a month or whatever. I'm excited for that. Oh, we yeah. don't even know if that's happening. Is that, we have, is we, that we have not made... I, I'm just going to keep saying it till it happens. You guys <laughs> our like, IRL what? stream. Did we agree to stream? I can't remember that. Well, I mean, the group chat we made is called IRL stream, so I assume. Okay, that's... but you probably fucking made it, so that's <laughs> yeah. why. Yeah. Well, I just hanging out. I just want to hang out with you guys. You're trying to leech off of our content. Okay? Yeah, I You're am. Trying to leech off of, our, off, the, off the Turkey Tom and Augie RFC name, the Kai Clips yeah. esteems name. Okay, you're trying to leech yeah. off the Empire. Yeah, true. I mean, I'm the small guy here. It's just, what do you got to do? I mean, you you talked about this. You're like, oh, if you want to get big on YouTube, you got to start leeching. I mean, that not, like, that's true. not what I said. I said if you want to get big on YouTube, you have to upload to YouTube, you fuck, instead of streaming no, 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 like, TV you, all day. No, you, you, know, you made a video in which you, you said you have to reach off of like trending topics. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, you kind of do. That's that, But you already do that. You talk about yeah. the current events. That's what I do, do. Doo doo. <laughs> oh, oh Dookie. Him. Absolutely got him. I'm going to show real quick. The diaper is full as we end the stream. Let it be known. <laughs> Check out MichaelAlberto.com and make video essays about like political people. I'm having one on Destiny come out in a few days. We have one about Hunter and Nick and I think one on Baked too. Uh, Tom, you want to show? Like Everybody can like show real quick. We can wrap this Turkey up. Tom on YouTube. Check it out. Yeah. Augie? Augie RFC on Twitter and AugieRFC.video for my videos. He's still on Twitter. Kai? Uh, KaiSchwimmer.com, new website, and then Cozy.tv slash Kai Clips and YouTube Kai Clips. Same. Nick? We already know what Nick's going to say. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, whatever. Yeah, Cozy. Dot, for the Destiny stream, for the DGGers that want to check me out, Cozy.tv slash Nick. Or you go to uh, jadamcneil.com. That's another way to get there. So, <laughs> Did you uh, actually wait? To be slash Nick. Or you could try jadamcneil.com. Either one works. That did your uh, redirects. Holy shit. Content. Yeah, and so. if you want to so check bad. out Destiny, cozy.tv <laughs> slash Destiny. If you want to see Destiny. Or if I'm not live content. there, you can also catch me uh, over at youtube.com slash Destiny. You know? Or destiny.gg. Wow. All right. Well, it's an Here. honor. It's an honor. Having you guys all here. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Yeah, great stream, everybody. Nice work. Good uh, catching up with everybody. Thanks for inviting me, Michael. Appreciate it. Of course, of course. Thank you. Good stuff. Wow. We got a lot done today. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. See Good talk, Bye. everyone. See you later. Bye, everyone. Bye. Wow, what a, what a great, wholesome, fun time, guys. Huh.